Yo, 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 once again, we're back. This is with just a messages podcast. I'm Mo. I'm Mike. Of course. Got my dog. What, what, what happened? No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> got my dog, uh, Drew Money on the board. How y'all feeling? Feeling good, got man. My feeling dog good. Stand in the cut. Yo, 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 what's up? The man behind the visuals. You know it. Stand in the cut. He said he he won't be on the main screen. Thank you, thank you, Stan. Thank you. Y'all making me feel bad. The dog ain't going on the main screen. Ah man. Then I fix the camera and all that. How y'all fellas doing, man? I'm feeling good, man. Feeling good. I'm feeling good, man. Of course, you know, for everybody, we won't be transparent with 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 the Witches and Bessons family. You know, we had to take a couple weeks off because. Your boy had COVID, man, so I had to get over it, man. So I'm back, feeling good. You know, we back, man. How y'all fellas doing, man? I'm good, good man. Good, good, man. Good, 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 man. Good, good, good spirits, man. Yeah, yeah. How are you feeling? That's the question. I feel good, man. I feel good. I feel like I can, I can run me a curl route right now, man. Okay. <laughs> That's good. So what was the, what was like the experience like having that shit? Um, man... All right, so it hit me in, like, different phases, man. So, like, when I first had it, it was more like it felt like a common cold, right? So it was like, you know, I you know, I took a nap one. I took a nap, like, that Sunday. And when I woke back up, I was like, something ain't right. Because that was the episode when we recorded with JT, when JT was on. So I woke up. We did that episode. I took a nap, like, right after that episode. And I was like, something ain't right. But... I ain't gonna say it's COVID yet. You know what I'm saying? I took a nap. I woke up, and it's like I felt like I felt like someone like dropped me off a building, bro. Like my whole body was sore. Mm. So I was like, man, let's go get tested, man. I went and got tested, and I was in. I, I swear to God, I was in the in the line to get tested, and it's like the whole time I was in line to get tested, I just felt like real bad, like mm. like slimy bad, like I just felt horrible, dog. So I, I got back to the house, and when I got back to the house, like, all I could smell was bleach. It was like my nose was burnt out by bleach or something, man. And I was like, man, I got this shit, man. <laughs> like, I knew I had it then. So then, like, you know, for the next couple, for the next week and a half or so, like, it's just been, you know, letting it run its course. You can't really do nothing, man. I had got my results back probably, like, a day or two after that. And I was like, damn, that shit came back positive. And it was just, you know. More just letting it run its course, man. That's yeah. all you can really do. It was, it was days where I could do nothing but sleep. Like, you can't do nothing but lay down. Yeah, I had that shit too, man. Yeah, I remember hey, you man. told me you had that shit too. I had I'm glad shit. you over that shit too, bro. That shit ain't nothing to play with, man. Hell no. Damn. Had, nothing had, to play with, man. Panic attacks and all, boy. Yeah, man, because you... I, I, it ain't really hit me like that, but it's like when you when you really think about it, it's like damn, like I got this shit, yeah. and it's like you see what it's done to people. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like yeah, people dying behind this shit. You really, you really just thinking, man. Like that's all you really can do. And it's, like I said, like it was days where I could nothing, where I could do nothing but sleep, and it's like damn, like is this shit, is this shit really about to be over with or what? Like what's going on, man? Like. That's all you really can't think about, man. But you know the light. It's, it's a light. It's a light at the end of the tunnel, man. So yeah, man. Glad here, you man. here, man. They say. Um, I just found out this morning that uh, Jeremiah's in ICU with that shit. He yeah, fight, he fighting yeah. for his life with that shit. And then I remember I saw uh, West Side Gun. He was on um, Butter Them podcast, and he said COVID made him get on his uh, pump again because he got asthma. So he said before he got COVID, he didn't have to worry about using his pump like that but when he got it like he said the same thing like you like he was like man it was i was hitting up people like letting them know where certain shit was at because i didn't know if i was gonna make it or not like that shit crazy man mm-hmm. shit crazy bro like hey man it's over with though man that's all i can say and, and they got these know. record cases coming up man like y'all think it's gonna be another lockdown soon of course oh biden shut this shit down yeah. biden shut this shit down immediately as soon as he get in power, like he, sh- I feel like he shut this shit down. As he should. At least, a, at least, at least a month, at least a month of a real lockdown. I seen a crazy pic yesterday of Larry June concert, and motherfuckers was just shoulder to shoulder at this man concert. 
Yeah. And I that see this, you know, them still shots. That is brand for Larry June. You know, them still shots show everything, right? So it looked like a motherfucker breath was just in the air. <laughs> I was like, dog, listen, y'all niggas ain't gonna learn, man. Like, hey, so they had the uh, they had the, the million mega march yesterday up here, mm-hmm. and they, somebody got a, like one of the best pictures, like. Like you say, like people breath, like this dude had his mask pulled down and he was like yelling and all you can see is like the particles coming out of his mouth. Like, yeah. and the dude was like, hey, I don't know if y'all realize, but this might be the picture of the year. Mm-hmm. I don't know like, it's nothing that. but like, it was like a whole cloud of particles around this dude's face, bro. Uh-uh, That's dog. Crazy. Hell no. That shit wild, bro. But the boys up here getting washed up yesterday, man. The proud boys getting that ass beat up here, man. <laughs> Boy, hey, man. Bro, that, that, that they 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 save you ain't in the, ain't in office no more, man. They don't know how to handle that shit right about now. So you know they. Hey man, if you think about it, man, they got they they used to losing, man. Like listen, we won't take it back historically, man. They losers. <laughs> you saw the still shot. You saw the still shot of Trump. Look like he was outside the White House. But it looked like he was crying or some shit like that. <laughs> hey, man. Like he was I, yeah, I think I did see that. Drop a tear. Drop, <laughs> drop a tear. I mean, but I honestly, bro, like I said back in the summertime, man, I thought it was going to be a wash, and that's exactly what it was. It was a wash. Like He got too much blood in his hands, man. Like, bro, he talking all this about votes, this. Money. You only had like 200 and like nine electorals. Like, Biden got 290. Like, what we doing? You see what I'm saying? Like, it's, it, it was a wash, man. It was. I know a lot of people was nervous at first, but I'm like, bro, he's not winning this election, man. And, and I didn't think it was going to be close at all. The funny thing is, like, my mom broke it down to me because she was, like, they, she was, like, they crying for all these recounts. They crying for these recounts, but what's, 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 what was wrong with the states that he won? Why we not recount those states? Man, Mo, listen, when Michigan and Wisconsin <laughs> flipped, it was over for him. That's what I'm saying. Like, he, like he, them main states that Biden was supposed to take. Yeah. So that, 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 feel like that holds a lot of weight. Yeah. So once he got them two, we was just waiting on Nevada, of course. And, you know, once he got Georgia, it definitely was over. So, I mean, hey, you got to take your L's and strides, man. Ain't nothing that happens, man. Now <laughs> you got to take your L's and strides. Back. Now he's saying he's coming back 2024. I'm like, all right, man. I heard that um, the son was supposed to um, run too. Who? Eric Jr. Trump. Huh. He gonna take an L too. <laughs> it won't matter who he go over against. <laughs> it and won't then matter. Trump, Trump gonna be back on uh, on his apprentice shit by by then. Man, he not even gonna care about. Man, the listen, Biden Biden set the record for most votes in an election. This man had like seventy six million votes. Who is gonna fuck with him twenty twenty four at this rate? I don't see nobody beating him next race too. He might have you right. He might just, just go for eight. Unless he like completely fall off the map, like and fuck this shit up. But other than that, like who you setting records? You flipping states that you wasn't supposed to flip. Like mm-hmm. it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna get real ugly for whoever come up against him next next time. And if it's Eric Trump Jr., he damn sure won't. He might not even make it to the point where he gonna even be able to run. To be honest with you, like it's gonna take somebody else, but. Hey man, Trump holla at you, man. Get them taxes in order when you get up out of there too. <laughs> yeah, man. Get your shit and don't forget nothing, man. You probably gonna get locked up soon. Get up that way though. You think so? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. We definitely, we definitely gotta. Uh... They say, they say he might start a podcast or some shit like that. So, of course, you know, it's that's not against the norm for Trump to do some shit like that. A, pod, a Donald Trump podcast? Damn, yeah, that's crazy, dog. Course. Yeah, Spotify, <laughs> Spotify, Spotify, pick them up too. They'll give them a whole a whole bunch of money. <laughs> yeah, that bag is gonna be insane. Hell yeah! So let's get on to some other shit, man. You know, I don't say too much on this political shit. You know, we just gotta wait to see what Biden do with this shit at the end of the day. So you know, we gonna jump into this shit first because it happened last night. So of course we got the Jeezy and Gucci versus. That's supposed to be happening on Thursday. I got about eight text messages and DMs yesterday. You know, people know I'm a Jeezy fan, and I've been talking about, you know, Jeezy and Gucci on the timeline. 
hypothetically at the time because of course nobody ever thought we was gonna get this shit. So what you think, Mo man? We saw Jesus I saw I saw the tussle man. on the timeline this morning, man. Jesus snowman, I make it winter time. I heard the streets hungry. It's dinner time, man. <laughs> Y'all know what time it is, man. And I, and I don't think when it comes down to it, man. I got, I got. I've said this before. I don't, I don't know how many times I have to reiterate this because when you say you rock with one, it's like you don't rock with the other one. I I got a lot of love for Gucci music, but he don't got 20 songs better than GZ Best 20 songs, mm. and that's all it's come down to, bro. That's all it's come down to. Y'all can we can throw all the mixtapes and the albums against each other side by side. If you want to pick 20 of Gucci Best songs, GZ got 20 songs that are going to annihilate those songs. Mm. And that's all it's come down to, bro. Like it's this. It's, it's, it is what it is, bro. It's levels to this shit, man. It's just levels, man. That's all it is. Like, everybody want to talk about how I listen to Gucci, man. Like, that don't mean nothing. <laughs> what do that mean? What do that mean? We all eat, we eat, we eat spicy chicken, chicken sandwiches and we eat regular chicken sandwiches. What do that mean? Mm-hmm. Both Damn get man. eight. I don't. And like, it's like you. Know, this not. This not rocket science, man. Like it's really not much. It's it's really not much for me to say on that shit. You know what I mean? You hit the nail on the head, dog. It's like I just saw like the disrespect I'm seeing on the TL already. Niggas coming out the gates talking about some twenty o Gucci and all this other shit. I'm like, bro, like Gucci and Gucci fans. It's a Gucci fan tell me that he ain't got no classics yet. His career better than Jeezy. I'm like, so if you don't got no classic albums. How can his career be better than Jeezy? How's career better than Jeezy? But all they can do is tell me he influenced niggas in Atlanta. Me is telling me EA Sports Center and and um in <laughs> the movie is better than um Trap or Die. And that's that's what I'm saying. But how how you got a better <laughs> career? How you got a better career than a nigga? And all you do is influence niggas in your city. <laughs> how how does that work? Hey man, you got to explain. You got to explain. That's all more like. I be looking. I be looking for an explanation on all that shit too, man. I don't get it. Jeezy had a whole movement, man. Exactly. Dude had snowman t-shirts and kids getting banned banned from school. That's an impact. Yes. So, Gucci ain't did that. Niggas talking yeah. about people wanted to wear jewelry like WAP. Jewelry? jewelry. We jewelry talking about jewelry? Out. Jewelry been out. Jewelry. You didn't want to wear that cheesy looking shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> on, man. Ju- jewelry been you out. We talking about a nigga. And then here's another thing. We talking about a nigga who completely separated himself from boys in the hood. Like, with really no effort. It was just like a sh- like Usain Bolt in a 40-yard dash. Like, he just gracefully separated year. himself. In the same year at that. Yeah, in the same year. Less than six months if we being real. No, for real. Like, less than six months. And then he had a, he had a mixtape that came out, changed the game. Like... We and that's what I'm saying. Niggas try to rewrite history. Like my nigga, we was all in high school when this shit happened. Like it had to been October, September, '05 when it was a completely culture shift to just Jeezy, dog. Yeah. Like it was just a culture shift. Like niggas walking down the hallway. If you ain't fucking with Jeezy, there's nothing to talk about. And this man been doing this in the crunk era. Yeah. This man just been sliding. He just been sliding right there in the crunk era, man. If you Ooh. think about it, when that hit, it was no more crunk, really. Like, that was it for crunk. Like, the crunk, that crunk shit was over with when Trapper Die dropped. You know I what mean, I'm saying? Like, you, gotta, you gotta figure, too. We are we also had, uh, we already had T.I. with Trap. So, for him to even come in and set himself apart like that, that should, uh, that should speak to his, uh, greatness on its own. You see know what I'm saying? Like, correct. this, this, there's nothing else to really discuss. Like, niggas try to rewrite history and make up all these, all of a sudden, like, oh, well, WAP, it depend on who you ask. If I ask a nigga directly, like, do you, do this man, put up 20 songs against this man, 20 songs, and you make, don't come to me talking about post-2010, uh, his end shitting on, like, dog, none of that shit matters. Jeezy did so much on his front end, it don't even fucking matter what Gucci did post-2010. And that's the thing, like that that front end, like even I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this. No, hold on, Mo, even, hold on, Mo, before you go. go ahead, and they want to talk go ahead, about go post. 
you still don't have nothing that's better than the realest back one or two. That's 2011 and 12. So, or Trap or Die, or Trap or Die 2. Yeah. That was 2010, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, like, what were, we, what were we really talking about at the end of the day? Like, what were we really talking about? But go ahead. Man drunk, trapping ain't dead. Trap or Die 2. Real is back. Real is back, too. A thousand grams. Laugh now, cry later. And this is post Trap or Die. So, what are we talking about? Mm-hmm. That's all I'm saying. What are we talking about? Like, niggas want to. Throw up all these uh, trap god and and uh, and and uh, and uh, what else? The 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 trap back mixtapes. Well, what about the tape with V Nasty? Let's talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about that. We, we want to gloss over that. Like that didn't happen. Hey, he gonna play a like, hey, he gonna play a song about that in the verses. <laughs> shit, he gonna he he oh, oh but niggas want to say oh he got a million dollars for that. What 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 what, what, what Jeezy got? What did that even mean? Bro, you, did you, you notice now, niggas was even saying, like, bro, we really don't care to have you in the verses, bro. We wanted T.I. and Jeezy. Like, we really didn't care. So when I saw this shit yesterday, I thought this shit was fake because Dale sent it to me and a couple other people. So I'm like, man, this shit fake. And I'm half asleep when niggas sent it to me. I got a theory, man. I think Go this ahead. shit might not happen, bro, because when Walt made that post last night, uh-huh. the verses page, they posted it, and then they took that shit down, like, 20 minutes later. Oh, it's down. Dang. They they took they took their post down. They took off the Instagram page. They posted it, and then they took it down like 20, 20 or thirty minutes later. And I was like, hmm, I wonder why. Damn, Andy calling him in a snow cone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so what? How did that shit even come up? Did, what was the, what was the talks about Ti? Because I was sleep around all this shit happening. I mean, I mean, I don't know what happened with Ti. Like. I, it, I thought I thought you know it was supposed to be ZZTI, and then all of a sudden Watt made this post. So I guess you know he got he got his million dollars from somebody, and no, you know Versus got the money. So you know I, I, something had to be worked out. You know what I'm saying? I saw like I saw like can say Watt made that post, but then again, like what what of this cat? Like what do we say then if this don't really happen? You know what I'm saying? What, what do we they, say then? Do they we gonna be in the same they gonna make up a narrative that Jeezy was ducking him again. But how is he ducking him when this was his, this was his idea? That's what I'm saying. You know how? <laughs> like that's what I'm saying. Like it, it can't it can't work both ways, man. That's all I'm saying. The Gucci man. fans like, are gonna say that though. You know that. You see how they acting on the TL now? Since you, oh, you oh, see, they, you they, see they, it. They mad. They mad that I'm hitting them with the facts. <laughs> like I be, I be like, dog, like explain to me this when I got time. I like let's let's be logical here. I don't be getting no logical responses to my questions. That's all I'm saying, bro. Like it don't, it don't. This shit not hard, man. No, you get hit with the I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. I'm leaving the convo. Yeah. <laughs> all this other shit, man. Like, come on, bro. Dog, like, my my whole thing is is like this, bro. If you honestly gonna tell me this man got twenty songs better than this man, you lying. You lying. It's just a lie. It's just a lie. Regardless of the fact, it. Regardless of the fact, if I don't listen that much of Jeezy, like I listen to some of this man's most classic mixtapes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can have an objective conversation. He got a hundred something fucking mixtapes. I haven't listened to all the mixtapes. So it's like, but I know niggas who listen to Gucci and they telling me the same thing I'm telling you. So what what does it matter? What does it matter at the end of the day? If niggas want to tell me I listen to a lot of Gucci, man, right? And y'all telling me I listen to a lot of this, man. I do this and I do that, right? Yet you still picking Jeezy. so wouldn't that mean that I have a, a a logical a logical like you know point of view here? Where and I you would have a reason that? to be biased. I don't have reason to be biased. I I, I rock. I really rock with exactly. Gucci Man music. Gucci exactly. Man got bangers. Like exactly. he got bangers. But when it comes down to it, when it comes down to it, like I just don't see he him having twenty twenty. If his best songs are not going to be, they're not going to beat twenty of Jeezy's best songs. Niggas tell him, niggas, niggas, niggas tweet yesterday that Gucci Mac will have to play a Mariah Carey record to keep up. That's how I know this shit about to be a watch. He probably would. Yeah. Let's talk about features. Because, and, we're, we're, and I asked, I asked, I asked the biggest Gucci fan, Reggie, what was his best feature? And you know what he told me? He said probably uh, Steady Mob. And I said, oh, okay. And I just left it at that. Because Jeezy shitting on, he got about six that he can shit on with. On that alone, like, what are we really talking about at the end of the day? Like, when it comes to features, when it comes to features, is like, 
What you gonna do with, if he played top back against you? What he gonna play if he could play the uh, unreleased version of uh, Can't Tell Me Nothing? Oh, niggas told me he couldn't do that because that's cheating. Like, how? How? What? How? We've been doing this all versus. I know. This, a, this, this, a whole, this a whole version that was supposed to be on the album. What are we talking about? Hey, Mo, he don't got He could play amazing if he wanted to. Well, yeah, he can play. Amazing. So if they want, if they want to talk, they want to do that. He can play amazing. Like you see, what I'm saying it's always a counter. He has a counter for anything. I saw somebody say, uh, I saw somebody say, damn, uh, my nigga Mac now, my nigga Mac and Sweet Jones. Nigga say, what, what they gonna, what they gonna do? So if he play Soul Survivor, nigga was like, man, get that, get that inspirational shit out of here. Like, nigga, what? Niggas lying now. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. niggas going to try to, niggas try to rewrite history and act like yeah. we didn't see niggas in the cafeteria before school, after school, bumping trap and die, bumping inspiration. Like, what are we talking about, dog? Y'all niggas I is not going to lie. Sworn, I could have sworn niggas was, was fucked with, with Soul Survivor when it first came mm-hmm. out. But now, but now it's, not, it's, it's cool to shit on Soul Survivor while, while I'm trying to, You know what I'm saying? And then niggas want to say, then niggas want to say, well, ZZ ain't did nothing since, uh, in the last 10 years well, The nigga just had a number one album 2016 mm. So what are we talking about Trap and Die 3 went number one mm. When it first came out So what are we talking about They trying to shit on it's that only, too it's, Said that shit was it's, mid it's, 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 it's only on Twitter When niggas try to Try to try, try to demean your value When in real life You actually still making moves That's just, This only happens on the TL mm-hmm. Oh you right And they talking about <laughs> They bringing up Freddie Gibbs like bro, like that man don't even that be man talking about this man. Yeah, man <laughs> yeah. He don't even be talking about this man, dog. This nigga don't care about Freddie Gibbs, bro. Like that's y'all that want something to happen from that. That man, that man don't care about no Freddie. What is a Freddie Gibbs to Jeezy? Honestly, like what, what we talking about? And he don't wash his hands with that shit, man. Like it don't be no no malice from Jeezy towards this man or nothing. Like y'all just want to be extra. Speak, he doesn't speak about this man at all. At all. At all, dog. And if we, and if we really want to deep dive on that, what, what, why didn't, why didn't Freddie Gibbs have none of this, this real nigga energy when Act was big boy in this nigga for, for always being on Jeezy dick? A G, no, Freddie was making t-shirts and shit with Act face on it. He want to make t-shirts and shit, and merch. Bro. He want to make merch for a nigga he so called hate. Like that shit was just weird, weird to me. But yeah, I mean, honestly, bro, this shit match up. I got this man fifteen five, man. Honestly. Not even on no fan shit. I could have been more disrespectful just because I seen the disrespect. Niggas talking about twenty old Gucci. That's, that don't even make sense. That yeah, don't like, even make sense. Dog, like we we not about to do that. But I got Jeezy fifteen five for sure. I'm just mad it's come to a point where I have to constantly reiterate that I've listened to a lot of Gucci Man music. I've listened to it from 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 Trap House up to now. I can pretty much say. I've listened to almost all of his projects multiple times. <laughs> so it's it's all of this all of this you being biased after it'll never work with me. It'll never work with me. You know what I'm saying? That's it it's 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 crazy like when all that's hey, all somebody can see. You know what's so crazy <laughs> You know what's so crazy now I think about it? So we and Reggie was having this conversation. I told I said, bro, we could honestly just set up the fucking battle, dog, and do this shit. This is like probably two, three weeks ago. Ooh. I said, you get your shit, I get mine. He's like, no, you can't do the battle because you... I said, no, I'm not coming to judge. You can get whoever to judge. I'm playing the Jeezy records. You play your Gucci records. I said, you get Mo, you get Marcus, you get whoever you want. And I said, dog, you know what's so crazy? Because if you know you play a certain record, Mo and Marcus going to give you a look like, bruh, you know that shit's not playing. <laughs> you know that shit's not playing, bro. That's what I told him. I said, dog, I told him, I said, dog, you know you're not going to be able to play certain records if I play a certain Jeezy record. Like, you know that. You're going to try to pass some shit that you know you're not going to get off. They're going to look at you like, Reggie, come on now. <laughs> Cut this shit off. Niggas, niggas, niggas going to you, you going to hear, who is that on the arts, man? <laughs> <laughs> I actually, right now, I'm coming right out the gate to get your mind right. Ooh. That's gonna be the first track. <laughs> so what you go? What you gonna play to play at first? Ooh. What you gonna play to match that? What you gonna play to match that? I don't know. Hey man, that water, that water get deep once you hop in it, man. <laughs> That's all I can say, man. Like all of this extra shit, man. Like, what, what, let's play the songs. Let's just play the songs. Yeah, just play the songs. Let's do all this extra shit, man. They, they gonna they gonna play the um. You think they gonna play the disc records? Nah. No. Nah. Hell no. Nah. 
for the sake of the battle, that shouldn't even happen. Bro. I don't even I think don't... none of them would play icy. I'd be shocked if somebody play icy. They might play icy like on some, you know, after the battle, like on some cool down shit. Like, I yeah, yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or before, like on the run, on the come up. Yeah, like on some warm up shit or some cool down type shit. Like, I can see that happening, but no diss. I don't see no diss tracks happening, bro. And then, like, it's even with lot. the diss songs, it's like, bro, like, come on, man. Like, I'm not saying Gucci can, got no good saying, diss like, songs, but it's can like, deep dive this whole thing. Yeah, bro. that's it's what I'm like, saying. Like, you, niggas can really deep dive the whole shit if they wanted to. Like, of course, niggas talking about, yeah, go. Dig up your dead homie, da 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 da. This and yeah. the third, okay. For one, that that wasn't even his man. For like we wanted, like. But Mo, this go back. But Mo, Mo, this go back to rewriting history, dog. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm not even. I'm not even doing all this, man. Like, wow. let's just play the songs. Like all this extra shit. It's funny for the TL. That's all I can say. It's funny for the TL. I do partake in it because I'm I'm a, I'm a master troll. But <laughs> it's just like let's just play the songs. Let's play the songs. So we got. I, I know in 2005 I had my snowman team. I know I had my my, my black and white forces to go with my snowman team. That's all I can say, man. I can't say niggas like the nigga drop the snowman logo and then the other nigga go and tattoo an ice cream cone on his face. Like we want to talk about all this shit. We can't. We can really talk about. And I wasn't all this even trend setting. <laughs> he I the mean, only. Come on, man. He the only one with that. You see what I'm saying? Like that's what I'm, you were talking about impact. I'm talking about real impact. Like yeah. this was a glo- this was a global nationwide thing. Like I have cousins and family in New York who at that time was doing the same shit that we was doing out here, going to school with that t shirt on and getting sent home for that shit. Like mm-hmm. niggas was fucking with Jeezy. Oh, hold on, another thing too, niggas talking about like Gucci didn't he wasn't fucking with niggas in New York. It was only two niggas fucking with New York niggas heavy at that time. It was Jeezy and Wayne. Like, niggas forget that he was running around with Street Fan with, with Fab and shit. He was fucking with niggas in Detroit. Niggas was fucking with Jeezy in California. Who, who, who was Gucci fucking with in Detroit, California, New York? Gucci, Gucci did go up there and find Nicki. He found Nicki. He did that. He did that. But, I but as far as, like, Jeezy, like, collaborating with, like, the rappers there. Yeah. Like, no, I'll, give Gucci, I'll give Gucci credit as far as, like, talent-wise. Like, that's his thing. I give him credit for that. But he wasn't moving around other artists in different regions like Jeezy was. He just wasn't. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's, shit, that's what I'm saying. That shit's Atlanta only, man. Hey, like, man. you just influence niggas that shop at Linux Mall, man. Like, this shit, you ain't global with this shit, man. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, I know it was 15 years ago, but niggas was in peak high school times. Like, peak, peak. Or you was crossing over from... Eighth grade to ninth grade, like niggas know what time it was. Like yeah. you just can't, you can't, you don't forget shit like that. You just no, don't. No. So I'm just no. like, what, 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 what schools was y'all going to? Because that damn show wasn't happening at Star High School. <laughs> that damn show wasn't happening at Star High School. And at, at the end of the day, man, we know how niggas get when they get on them X pills, man. That's all, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say, man. <laughs> we gonna leave it at that, man. <laughs> yeah, we got another potential uh, versus. That's supposed to happen between uh, Outcast and I uh, think a try called Quest potential. So I don't know if it's set in stone yet. Um, what you think about that one, Mo? Um, I don't think it's a good matchup personally. No, it's not. I don't think it's a good matchup as well. I agree, but I mean, since they just pull them, look, look, this is a matchup they pulled out their ass because this doesn't even make sense. But I love try called Quest. But they don't got 20 songs better than Outkast 20 best songs either. Like, <laughs> it is what it is, man. Like, we was just, remember how the other night we was just throwing out throwaway tracks, basically, like, soundtracks. Yeah. Shit, like, yeah. And, and, and what would, what would, would Tribe Call Quest play when Outkast played Naked of the Woods with Mystical? What would they play? Bro, I try to tell niggas this shit is about matchups at the end of the day. And I hate, I hate when they do this because it's like you shitting on. Like you said with Gucci and Jeezy, it's like you got to shit on somebody else, but it really ain't like that. It's like it's just not a favorable matchup. Yeah, it's like, not balanced. It's not ba- like put put Tribe versus UGK. You see what I'm saying? Like I think that'd be something better because they both heavenly influenced within their region. Oh. Like Outkast is a another nationwide global type thing. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Like I think there'll be a better matchup with Bone Thugs and Army. Bone Thugs? Yeah. And Tribe? No, Outkast. 
Do Bone Shit. got twenty songs? Bone don't really yeah, got uh, yeah, yeah, either. yeah. They got twenty songs. You think they got twenty songs? Stan, 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 Stan. Bone got twenty songs. Yeah, they got twenty. They got twenty. I don't know about I'm that. I'm gonna keep it uh, real with you, bro. Because uh, if, if, if you're doing Outkast, you got they solo stuff, right? Too. They really ain't got no solo shit though. Outkast ain't really got no. So- that's what I'm saying. Like, if it's a true group battle, like so it all got to be group song. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, I guess Andre could throw in some of the feature, but Big Boy would just be sitting back, like you know. So you saying if they do? So you saying basically if they do do, if they do do Tribe and Outkast, so I mean we, we just gonna play, we gonna play ten uh, a Q to best solo songs because he the only one that went on the run. That's what I'm saying. So if that's the case, then Andre got a ha- ass of features. For one, you see what I'm saying? And then the whole B side of lo- like Love Below uh, Speaker Box. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't know, bro. I just feel like, who would Outcast even go up against, like, realistically? Like, realistically. I don't know. Because they sold, they sold. They so unorthodox in a, in a, in a good way. That's what like, I'm saying. Who it's do tough. you put them against? It's tough. Like, there's never been, there's never been, in my opinion, another duo or group that's been on a level like in rap. Facts. Like let's let's talk about it. Like there, what other duo has has the has the range that Outkast got? I mean, to be real, between rap groups, the only real even battle I think we would honestly get is like State Property versus Dipset. They can say it should be G Unit versus Dipset. Yeah, that'd be a good one. Yeah, yeah, I think that'd be that'd be a good one. That'd be a real good one. Yeah, both of them had their impact. Hell yeah, G Unit and Dipset. Yeah. That'd be a real good one. Plus, if niggas want to throw out their soul records and shit, like exactly, that would that would be a really good battle right there. I feel like that should that should be the next. That should that should be one that's heavily looked at. Shit, I roll probably would roll with Dipset in that one, man. Yeah, but me too. 50, 50 and G Unit just they in because Fifty got a mixtape run by himself. That's legendary, bro. So it's like, it's so much shit that you could bring to the battle for both groups. Cameron got his shit, Jewel's, Jim, of course. Especially Jim more so on the back end. It'll just be a lot of shit that yeah. people yeah. could bring yeah. to the table, dog. It's a lot of material, man. It's that's a lot, a lot of material. Of material. A lot yeah, of that's material. More, that's more than 20. Curtis! Curtis! <laughs> How, much nah, think, How much albums? How much albums? I think this think, think record should be a lot on that one. I ran from police. Mm. You ran with police. Mm. Mm. <laughs> They're too cool now, so I don't think even gonna get into all that. Well, nah, they wouldn't. But Cameron would win that shit probably just off the jokes alone. <laughs> but um, back to Tribe and Outcast. I mean, if it if it go like that, man, I got them handily like. On some seventeen three type shit, like yeah, like they just, I just, and this is not a knock on Tribe. Like I love Tribe Called Quest. Like mm-hmm. one of my favorite songs in rap is Butter from Tribe Called Quest. Like, mm-hmm. but I just, I just, I don't see them having twenty bangers that's gonna go against Outkast best twenty songs. Like that shit gonna get ugly quick. <sighs> it's the same thing. Like when uh, like why we talk about this because. Bone Thugs is supposed to go against Three Six Mafia during the summertime. I remember that. Yeah, and that's a, yeah. Because DJ Paul, like an interview just came out when DJ Paul was talking about it. And he was like, "What happened? What really happened?" So like they had they had set up their own match separate from Versus. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? This had nothing to do with Versus. Like they was just you know on some level of the sport type shit. Like so it was like they all set up. They they was about to you know go live and shit like that. Because if you notice. They went. They were supposed to go live that night, and then it just didn't happen. Mm-hmm. So he was like, you know, what really happened that night was, you know, we all was set up. We was about to go on live, blah blah blah. Out of nowhere, he get a call from Lazy Bone. Lazy Bone was like, you know, we not gonna do it again, blah blah blah. Just got a call from the boys at Versus. We gonna try to set it up with them. And DJ Paul was like, bro, like this is the night of our shit. Like, what we what we doing? Like, you know what I'm saying? So he was like, you know, I already know this shit not gonna happen now. Like if if we if, if we cancel on our shit the night of for verses, like this shit not about to happen. Mm. And sure enough, we ain't never get that shit. <sighs> fumbling fumbling opportunities, man. But if but versus... my thing is what 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 could have happened on that phone call with Lazy Bone mm-hmm. and whoever over at Versus to where 
niggas just back out of the battle the night of. You know what I'm saying? Money. It could have been no money because at that time, Versus wasn't really producing no bread like that. Not at yeah, that versus, time. Versus well, really they, they, just guess, you know, like, Versus wanted that opportunity to host that, so. That shit, that shit kind of whack, bro, because it's like, y'all already, y'all already set y'all on shit up. Like, yeah, yeah, was, hold on, was, was Dream and Son and Garrett, like, a Versus battle or was that they own shit? I think they, I think they did host it. it. I think they hosted that one. I think Versus hosted that one. All right. But they didn't really start doing the in-studio shit until, like, I think the Jagged Edge battle. I think that's when they started, like, okay, because we were still under lockdown at the time, remember? So I think yeah. when they started lifting, like, certain restrictions, I think the first one they had in studio was Jagged Edge versus, uh, who, did, who did they go up against? 112. But up until then... There wasn't no reason for money to be made because niggas was just doing it for the sport. Yeah, like the I think the money should they really come into it to 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 we start seeing the Ciroc sponsorships and all yeah, that. Yeah, and shit. all that like, other shit. Yeah, and they started so doing it that right. way because yeah, that had to be like summertime. That had to be mid summer, like July, June or July, because Chains Chains and Ross was at the uh, studio for they for they battle. Then of course, James and Ross, and then Fab, Fab, Fab and Jada was yep. before that one. Fab and Jada was first, matter of fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They was first at the studio, so it, had, it was like Jagged Edge 112. Then was Fab Jada, and then Ross Chains, Brandy Monica. Like that's when they started doing the shit, and then they did a collab with Apple Music, so you mm-hmm. could listen to it on Apple Music Radio. That's when the money came. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. So I mean, I don't so know, it's man. Like, what, what? What could they have said? Like, oh, we gonna hold this off. If you hold it off, three six months, you're not doing that shit, then because y'all had the chance of doing shit. They're not, they're not hard up for no money. I just show me what niggas at. That's mm-hmm. all I'm saying. Yeah, I feel you, man. So hopefully, Swiss, Swiss and Timberland gotta get better, get better matchups, man. As far as this Ti, GZ or Gucci or GZ shit, man. I'm just, I was just looking forward to it versus next Thursday, regardless. So hopefully, we still got this shit going on. Um, I had to look into more what you told me about versus taking that shit down. But initially, when I got it, like I said, I was half asleep. So when niggas sent it to me, I'm like, man, get this Photoshop shit up out of here. And then when I actually hit on the picture, it was on the Gucci page. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, what happened to Ti? Like, what the fuck going on? Yeah, what Ti got to say about that? <laughs> I don't know, man. I want Ti and Jeezy to be honest with you. Like, shout out to Ralph. Like I, like I said before, man. I'm really cool like, if we don't get a yeah, walk. Yeah, like, like... I'm really cool. Like, it's cool on Gucci, man. Like, we cool on you, dog. Like, ain't no love loss in ain't that. Ain't no disrespect in, ain't no disrespect in that at all. Like, yeah. Just, it don't matter to me. You no. know what I'm saying? Like, uh-uh. it really don't. Niggas definitely want that T.I. and Jeezy shit. For sure. So, I don't know, man. We had some unfortunate, you know, uh, shit happened in the rap game. We lost uh, King Vaughn last Friday. The gunshot wound in Atlanta outside Atlanta Club. Um just twenty twenty keep piling up, man. Like it's another sad, unfortunate situation, man. Uh, very unfortunate situation. You know, man. RIP to him, you know his family, you know his kids. It's good to know that his kids will still be getting some income because he owned his masters. And, you know, I hear that's a popular thing under Empire. I heard he was with Empire, so I heard they, you know, they pretty much take care of their artists over there. Oh yeah, they do. They, that's probably like, that's that's where all of the, like, you know, the all of the, you know, the, the dudes who are really bubbling, like really bubbling, that's coming off of the underground tip. You know, they go into Empire because that's where it's at right now. Mm-hmm. So shout out to Empire. Shout out to you know King Von and his family. Uh, another rapper who passed away this week was Mo, rapper from uh from out of Dallas. Yeah, man, so that's another sad situation. That one is deep too, man. I know we talked about it a little bit in the chat. Yeah, like, so I, I, it's just, it's, niggas got to. I'm not. I'm not a, a fan of, of speaking about death. Period, man. Yeah. And like when you go to lengths to like rap about death a lot, like we saw it with some of our favorite, like Biggie' first album was "Ready to Die." You know what I'm saying? Like his mm-hmm. second album was "Life After Death." So it's like I'm. Yeah. I've never been the type to put death in that air because words have power, man. Words definitely have yeah, power, man. and just to see that whole Mo situation, it was like, 
putting that energy out you there. You putting that energy out there. He did a music video with him in a body bag, him going to the morgue. Like, it was just, I'm not even doing no video like that, man. Yeah, you like, can't, you can't. You gotta, you, you, that energy real, man. You no, gotta, it is. You gotta watch that. Yeah. So it's like, you know, even with Pac, like, Pac, my man, but it's a, lot of, it's a lot of material. Pac talking about death a lot. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just we understand that death is a is a is a, is a part of life. I'm trying to but live. It's like you know when you when you it's just like when you coming out of these situations, man. You coming out these environments that we placed in, man. Like you gotta celebrate the life that you got at the moment, man. You know what, right. what I'm saying? Like it's like you know a lot of people don't make it out of these these environments and these situations. So it's like for you to be one of the chosen ones, man. I feel like it's a duty. To celebrate the life and you know the path that you got ahead of you, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, I get it. Like, I do get it. Like, you know, it's 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 just a. I think I think it's a it's a tough cycle to break because you know a lot of people that that really live that life. Like, you know, sometimes you might feel like you know you just engulfed by it, but it's like you gotta you gotta be above that shit, man. At the end of the day, yeah, you, you know? right. Um... I'm not going to do the typical, like, I see a lot of the typical thing be, like, after, like, and this is more so speaking on King Vaughn, um, you know, niggas always want to go with this, you know, we got to watch what type of material, you know, we encourage and stuff like that, and, you know, these rappers be rapping about, like, bro, that had nothing to do with why that man lost his life, you see what I'm saying? Like, he's a product of his environment, like, King Vaughn was just a street nigga, yeah. you see what I'm saying? Like, that's just what it was and you rap about your where you come from like so I, I see that narrative a lot every time a rapper die they gotta be like oh something gotta change as a culture like stop saying that that cliche bullshit man like niggas don't care about that shit until a nigga died and all of a sudden y'all wanna change some shit yeah. but then you turn around you you you. I just seen niggas was praising I am who I am like weeks before and that was a new record you see what I'm saying yeah. and it's a banger at that you see what I'm saying and I just seen niggas like Killing this record, then all of a sudden when this man died, it's on some oh we gotta watch what type of music. But like no, that had nothing to do why he got shot. Like shit if like that happens. Care about, if niggas care about this shit so much, then why why do we praise Gucci Man the Truth record so much? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like niggas want it both ways, and it don't work like that. Yeah, it don't. No, it, it don't. Yo, niggas want to be so peaceful till it's time to, to tell Jeezy the biggest damn boy up. Mm-hmm. You know oh, it's jokes then. It's jokes then. It's jokes then. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, just say it apply to who you like and who you don't like. Mm-hmm. Because when it's time to be peaceful, y'all don't really want to be peaceful. Y'all don't really want to in, 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 enact the change. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this this conversation can get really deep. Like, if we really, like, want to, you know, peel apart the layers. No, we can't. We can't because... You know what I'm saying? Like, my bad. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, you got it. You got it. Um, I was just saying, like, even in terms of people like who older in the game, like Ti, again speaking on something that you had no business speaking on, like that you gonna try to back backtrack and say you wasn't talking about that man. Who else you was talking about? Yeah. That 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 was the hottest thing going on. At, not Bad say hottest time. in terms of. Let me choose my words correctly. Like that was the most frequent, most recent thing that was happening that was gaining a lot of attention at that moment. So who else you could have been talking about, dog? Who else you could have been talking about? Like, niggas could easily talk about your homeboy who died in Cincinnati. You see know what I'm saying? Like, due to your reckless activities. Yeah, due to your reckless activities. And you apologize for that on a big record of yours. You see know what I'm saying? So you can't turn around and throw stones and talk about, oh, don't come to Atlanta and be. How, what what kind of shit is that to say, oh, oh you, d- you could die, imagine, just don't imagine, die in my imagine city? Imagine if Cincinnati had a major artist who said that at the time. Exactly, the dog. He would have had took that shit. He would have had took that shit lightly, dog. Like, at the end of the day, this man was one of the biggest rappers in the game. Like, young, too. 26 years old. Yeah. This man lost his life. And you talking about, oh, don't be dying in my city. Handle beefs in your city. Like, what are you talking about? He, he, he handled sound, the beef like, accord- he handled the beef accordingly because he bro, fought him. Like, yeah, yeah. He ain't pull out no gun. The other party did. Yeah. That man fought him. Mm-hmm. He shot him the fair one. Yeah, he, so it was like, he was mopping that nigga up until all that shit went down. Yeah. Until that shit went left And it's like What kind of shit is that the same? You shouldn't even be telling nobody To handle beef in their own city Period Because every time Like this go back to what Mo said earlier Every time somebody die Then it's oh It's all this peaceful shit But then on the same time To you want to tell a nigga Handle beef in your city You shouldn't be want niggas beefing Period No Not at all Because every time a nigga die Then it's oh We gotta stop the violence And we gotta stop doing this and that And the third No dog You can't have it both ways 
We gotta be more responsible, man. That, man. The got- shit, the shit. Niggas wanna, niggas wanna hold hands and all, all this other shit until it's time, it's time to get in the booth and diss some nigga dead peoples. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all I'm saying, man. Like, like this shit, man got kids. This man got kids at the end of the day, yeah, dog. Three of them. This three man got three kids, and you saying some shit like that? Like, come on, dog. Nobody wanna hear that shit. I don't know too much about the whole Asian doll situation. I know that shit was kind of like looking funny in the light too. Like, it just be a lot of clout chasing when when certain rappers die, man. Like, it just seemed like that's a part of the game, and that that part of it has to die. Like, you know, a lot. I'm not here to speak on his relationships with different females and stuff like that, but it's just like it's like inconsiderate and like you know insensitive to you know be saying. Vaughn was saying certain things like, and you know, because you were speaking to him through a spiritual connection like leave that shit private you see what I'm saying like that is not the time to be even speaking on nothing like that yeah yeah people still mourning like when I first started seeing all of that shit I was like you know I don't know what she at mentally I don't know where her head at you know what I'm saying it's easy for us to say how we would handle that situation Mm -hmm. and all that because we met at the end of the day Mm mm-hmm but it's like that's a woman at the end of the day. I don't really even gonna I'm not even gonna measure you know, I'm not even gonna weigh in on that. Like, you know what I'm saying? We know how women get when when shit like this happens anyway. So, you know. All I can say is, you know, much shrimp for her, you know, hopefully she find her her uh her silver lining within all of this. Like I don't really you know Yeah, like I said, it's not it's not no disrespect to mine. It was just like, you know, you saw the back and forth between her and her manager. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like, like that's not, what that's is that? Not, what is that accomplishing? You see what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's, the man that's, going? That would, that would be my only like right because it's like, bro, like that man, that man been locked in with Vaughn ten plus years. How you gonna tell us, man? You know what I'm saying? Like he not a friend. Like that man. Exactly. Been you know what I'm saying? Just because you know y'all had a a, a, a personal like a, you know. A, and, and that's what I'm saying. He could easily say like you you ain't been with this man that long. He could easily said that. You see what I'm saying? Like, what kind of shot is that to throw at somebody? Like you said, he known this man since they was dead. Like, he's, you saying 10 years, so he basically grew up with this man. He known since he was 13, 14 years old. Yeah, exactly. That's what, that's what exactly happened. So it's like, how you going to tell me? That's like, that's like, you know, God forbid something happened to me or you or, you know, somebody and somebody's come out the blue like, yeah, I was just a real homeboy. And it's like, bro, like, we didn't, how you going to tell me this? And I've been locked in. With this man, like you know what I'm saying? Like we know each other for real. Yeah, like, you know we going saying? on like, ten plus years. <laughs> yeah, like how you gonna tell? Like that's that's just disrespectful to me, man. Like for real, like that's all I'm saying. Like, but you know, it just seemed like it's no no let up, man. Like praise the Boosie too. Like his his uh, he got shot at. Apparently, he got hit in the leg. Was it just the leg he got hit at? I'm seeing I'm seeing a lot of reports saying that he didn't get hit at all. So it's like you know. Okay. Well just praise everybody in that situation, you know. Um Yeah. You know, it just seemed like That's sad. Yeah, this shit is just keep piling up, piling up, man. And you know, we still got another month for this year, man. Still got another yeah, month. Man. Yeah, man. I hope niggas just get it together, man. Like, you know, this ain't even you know, it's just it's just unfortunate, man. That's all I can really say. You know? Yeah, dog. It's just like, I, I just need everybody to just, like, be safe out here and, you know, take care of yourself menta- mentally, physically, you know, emotionally. Like, get yourself. There's nothing wrong with, like, you know, taking some time off and just reflect, man. Like, you warranted that more so in 2020, man. Like, 2020 pretty much has done a number on all of us more so black people you see what I'm saying like yeah. black people has dealt with a lot of trauma in itself you know in 2020 just off the first half alone you see what I'm saying like the first six months was enough and here we come second half we done lost some predominant people like you know yeah we lost Chadwick Boseman just in August end of August you see what I'm saying and Denzel Washington just had a situation thank God you know the Washington yeah his good. house is safe yeah shout out so, to you yeah. know this shit real, man, and like you know, we we spoke on our earliest episode, but you know, much praise and you know, much strength to Jeremiah and his family. Like you know, whatever going on with him, mm-hmm. and I really do hope he come out on the other side of this shit, man. Cause that shit is real, you know, like like this shit real, man. Like a lot of people take this shit lightly, man, but this shit real, man. 
This shit is very real, man. I saw, you know, I just want people to take this shit, not not take it so lightly, man, because, you know, people dying for real off this shit, man. Yeah, man. Police killing us. Virus killing us. We killing us. Dog, it's like you. you this like, this shit is like a turn, this shit. Bro. This shit is like a gauntlet. Yeah, this shit is like a gauntlet. It's like a real life gauntlet, and you got this. Like it's like on some Jumanji shit, and like you really got to get through all this bullshit to like get to the end of the game. Yeah. Like you, see what I'm saying it's like really to Jumanji, survive 2020. Bro. Yeah, to survive 2020. It's gonna be hella it's documentaries really- on this year in the year 2030, bro. I'm telling you. It really is Jumanji because you got to think we got all of this going on. We got all of these injustices going on. We still got, you know, the the world, the climate climate change, and we still got all these hurricanes and shit going on. Tornadoes, people getting a getting flooded right now. Like it's all kind of shit going on in the world that we just don't know about because it's not on the news every day. Mm-hmm. But when you really look at like you know the outside of like you know the yeah. you know the, the news in the United States, like shit fucked up everywhere. Yeah, shout out to the Nigerians. Too, you know they going through their situation over there. Yeah, like you know, shout out to them. Shout like, out to know, them, man. Because at the end know, of the day, I know it'd be a lot of back and forth on the tier between like you know Africans and like you know us over here, and it's like at the end of the day, we all black. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't really no need to go tick for tack on some bullshit. You know they going through injustices. We going through injustices the same way. So you know, shout out to them, and you know, hopefully. You know, things would be good over there. I just see a lot of bodies being dropped over there, just like over here. So, just want to see my people be better, man. That's it. For sure. And honestly, like, even with that situation, it was just like, I just saw that shit, like, come out of nowhere, to be honest with you. So, ain't no telling, like, how long they really was dealing with that shit before it even hit news. You see know what I'm saying? Yeah, that that I feel like we that's like more 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 so like a bubble over like you know like everything is mm-hmm. really like at a, at its peak now like that shit been going on. You know, like I said, we still got a whole nother month of this shit, man. Ain't no telling, ain't no telling what else. Oh, we also lost. Uh, we just lost Alex Trebek too. Yeah, R.I.P. to him. You know what I'm saying? Spent a lot of nights watching him on on, on Jeopardy, man. Like, that was crazy, too. Yeah. And then they was even putting up the replacements, and them boy had Betty White on there. I'm like, bruh, why would y'all even have her as a replacement? No disrespect. No disrespect. We very well could lose her this year, too. That's what I'm saying, bruh. Like, she already up there. Let that lady chill, man. Like, (laughs) we ain't trying to say say RIP to another Jeopardy host. You see what I'm saying? Like, nah, dog. You know what's dope, though? I saw uh. I saw LeVar Burton pushing to get hired as a replacement. Yeah, that would be dope. That yeah, that'd be dope. LeVar, yeah, yeah, that'd be dope. That'd be real good. That'd be real good. Yeah, RIP Alex Rebeck, man. Like, And he was putting up a fight, too. I remember we, because we found yeah. out about he had cancer, like, what, in January? Or sometime last yeah, year? Yeah, that was, that was, that was like, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He, you know, he stuck around for a minute, man. That's what I'm saying. Like this, this that made me think back on Chadwick because Chadwick had it and he didn't say nothing. Like he was dropping yeah. movies, like you know, at his peak. Still, uh-huh. still working, still working. You know, what's so crazy. I just watched his shop episode after he had passed away, probably like two weeks ago. And even looking at him on that episode, you could tell that like, he had something going on. And even if you notice, like even in some of his appearances, he would wear a lot more heavier clothes, like thicker clothes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. To like cover up, kind of like. Make up for like his weight loss and stuff yeah. like that, but you could tell if you watch that shop episode that he has something going on. Cause even at the All Star game, like you know, he's been doing the walk on. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. But, that was last it, year. It, it, it seemed yeah. like he was tired of doing it, but he was really just sick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I just you like, can see oh, it in his facial expression. Yeah, yeah, yeah you see in his facial expression. He's sick. So that that leads that leads you to think like, was he really even tired of doing that shit? Like he might have just lo- he might have loved it. Like I said, we didn't know. Yeah, yeah, like I said, know. we didn't know when we when when you sent the news to the chat. I'm like, damn. Like I had an idea, but we never really knew. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, people yeah. was making jokes and saying like, you know, you know, he on this and that, and it was just like at the end of the day, this man was sick. And he still kept going and kept working and was doing shit. Like his last movie was fire. You see what I'm yeah. saying? The Five Bloods on Netflix. Yeah. Like that's that, that, that was the out. best movie. Yeah, that's that was a best. great fucking movie. He did a good job in that movie too. And like even body wise, 
Like he looked like he still had the same body that he had on Black Panther. I just feel like that 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 his role, like yeah. even like when you really like look at the movie, like you really watch the movie, like it's 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 a real interesting role, man, for that to be his like one of his last movies, man. Like man, that's what I'm saying, man. The, like his char- his character, like that should energy works in that's mysterious gonna, ways. That's gonna man. stick with me for a long time, man. Like hell yeah, because it was basically like him. Like the scene, the scene that always sticks out to me is when he was hugging um Delroy. He was hugging on, yeah, he was hugging and it was just like he like, was doing that for everybody. You yeah, saying like it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, like you yeah. Know? And for that to be his last role, like you said, it was just like it was just an eye opener, bro. It's like he might have knew, he, he might have known that might have been his last out. role, and he did that shit for a reason. Yeah, he got another movie coming out on Netflix, and that's his. That's the final movie that he did. Denzel oh, okay. Washington uh, produced this movie. I forgot the name of it, but it's coming out on Netflix either, I want to say next month or in January. That's his final role. Okay. But the, the Five Bloods, like, that being, like, one of the last movies he did, like, that's just, that role will forever live with me, man. Like, for real. Yeah, man. Shout out to everybody who's, you know, lost somebody this year, man. Like, you know, just once again, man, stay safe out here. Take this shit serious. If you're feeling some type of uh, feeling sick, you know, go get tested. You know, just be precautious. Like, wear your mask. If it's not a necessity for you to be there, don't go there with a whole bunch of people around. You know, because you never know how this shit can affect you. I see a lot of young people taking this shit for granted because they're young. This shit yeah. could put you on your ass, too, regardless if you're 20, 25. 23 years old, it don't matter, dog. Like, yeah, it should get you, man. I'm still seeing I was packed clubs on everywhere. Like, I still see packed parties and events. I'm just yeah. like, they do it, it, don't be no, it don't be no mask in there. Shit, Atlanta never closed down, to be honest with you, if we being real. Niggas was just doing whatever the fuck they wanted to do out there. We never did. It, it don't be no mask in none of these clubs, none of these parties. I just be like, all right, I just... It ain't too much I can really say, man. It's just... People gotta live their life, man. So. Also, it's open enrollment right now, so you ain't got no insurance. Go ahead and get that. Yeah, definitely open enrollment season. Yeah, man. Y'all definitely need to get that shit, because even if you're planning on traveling, I think this shit is going to be kind of the new norm. Um, some places to get to this country or certain countries, you are required to have insurance, and your insurance has to cover COVID. Um, in case you do receive COVID mm. over there, mm. um, it has to be able to cover it. So not just getting insurance, just getting good insurance that benefits your life. You yes, know? get good insurance. Yeah, and yeah. ain't just getting that $40, $50 a month. Like, nah, maybe you need to pay that 150 a month. Like, Yeah, you might need to, yeah. dog. Like, I mean, you can't put a price on your life. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Like, 1,000%. Like, your health, your health always got to come first. You see what I'm saying? So look, look, look into them plans, man. Really look into them insurance plans to see what you can get, like. You know, and just make sure you cover, man, because that's the biggest. It's 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 heartfelt for me to see people who can't, you know, get treatment because they lack insurance. You see what I'm saying? Or their insurance might not cover enough. Like on some John Q shit. You see what yeah, I'm saying? Like, yeah. shit is really like that out here. Like, you might be fucked up, but you can't get a certain procedure, or you can't go forward because oh, your plan might not cover this. Mm-hmm. Oh well, you can't be on a ventilator for X amount of time. We're gonna have to put. Like, damn, bro, like a motherfucker dying, but you telling me about insurance, but that's just how the game is. You see what I'm saying? So it's an unfortunate situation, but, you know, definitely look into your insurance plans and make sure that you got some shit moving out here for real. Can't put a price on that. No, you can't. And I'm I'm telling you, like, I'm I'm speaking from experiences. Cause I, you I'm, just came back from Denver, right? Yeah, I just came back from Denver. That was dope as hell. Um, but they dropped down to 25% capacity. Um, Wednesday, the day that we was preparing to go there, mm. they dropped down to twenty five percent capacity. So it was, it really wasn't that much people out there. Damn. Um, I think I, it's going. I think that number is going to drop too. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure of it. I'm pretty sure of it. And and honestly, like, uh, we hit a record for cases. Like, crazy. Did y'all see? Like every every state hit peaks, in like cases this yeah. month alone. And, and it's crazy because it's it feels like with the with the Election going on, people kind of forgot about COVID. Yeah, they did. They did. And they did. It, it the, the mood wasn't even there, or even the, the swing of hey, let's put a mask on, or the that constant push that we had that 
hey guys, this shit is real life happening. Everything kind of got washed away from this election. And that's why the, everything spiked up. Yeah, and, and your president don't even, um, you know, encourage you to do it. That yeah. shit's sad, he man. He says he's immune. So, he ain't had that shit, man. He ain't never had that shit to begin with. He ain't no had way. that You at that he age to... and you moving like that? Yeah. I'm, I, in, my, to I'm in my late votes. 30s and I've been pinned down. So, yeah. ain't he no way, dog. He tried to get man. He tried to, he tried to pull that people heart. That's all that shit was. was coming. That nigga been holding back that cough. I don't care what nobody say, bro. That nigga been holding that shit back, bro. Man, I had one cough, cough so bad, ass. bro. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, he can hold that cough back now when he tippy told his ass about that White House. <laughs> Trump back in the air. Trump pack. Boy, that timeline was hilarious when that shit went down, dog. Niggas had this shit ready. I had my shit ready. I ain't gonna lie. But niggas had some tweets Ball out the there that food. was crazy, dog. Like, <laughs> I know I gassed that shit up. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sir. And my dog, my dog drooping on Instagram, coughing off that Trump pack. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't I me. Said, that was the nigga in the gas. back. <laughs> I know that's some gas right there, boy. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> that dog been oh, off that, <laughs> that shit was hey, that should have me tripping, Drew. Drew, that should have me tripping, bro. <laughs> he was like, yo, who like, that is hey, laughing at coffee? My dog Drew been wheezing, bro. I say, hey, I ain't know my dog got that gas, bro. <laughs> <laughs> For real. <laughs> tripping on that one, bro. My dog Drew say, this that, this that. Trump back. <laughs> <laughs> I said, damn. I was out there. Fire up the backwood. Yeah, I said. Fire up the That definitely was a funny time on the TL. It was like, as soon as that shit came through, that Biden had CNN projected him to win the election, it was up. It was up. Everything just shifted. Like, when you go to the trending tab, everything Trump. Damn, Trump. <laughs> Everything had Trump next to it. <laughs> so this day he trying to tweet through it though. Yeah, he trying to tweet through it. How about we wonders? Yeah. No, nigga. No. We. And all and all and all the MAGA, all the MAGA fans like, no, keep keep y'all Trump stickers and shit out there. Don't go and hide it. Keep those shit. I hey, see a lot, you know, the people. The funniest t- thing to me is the is the black Trump support oh my God. That, like that been on that been on Twitter, like Woo! black things that be wearing the MAGA hat. Yeah. I know exactly they who you're talking oh about, too. God. They hurt. Like, they hurt. I'm going to tell they you, hurt. man, Ancestors not playing. Y'all better chew. Because one of the one of their homeboys already got turned into a pack. Oh, yeah. Rest in peace, the king, the king face, man. Yeah. I think he was out here cooning, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't, you, can't be, you can't be out here playing like that. Not in this comedy. Shango. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shango. Strike down upon thee. Hey, Twitter got to get you know off my dog that? mode back too, man. Also during this oh, time period man. too, my dog we'll began clipped from we'll three, that, three, three it's Twitter not... pages, dog. Damn. What? Hey, a, hey, man. In a matter, in a matter of a week and a half, your boy done had to make three Twitter pages, man. Like the most recent one came down when I when I summoned Shango on the timeline, man. I was out of there immediately, but it was almost like an immediate ban. Like you know what I'm saying, like. I was I was on the timeline. This was this was right when when the news broke of Trevor Lawrence catching COVID. Mm-hmm. But I remember because I, I, I was right there too. I dropped the Shango tweet with the with the beads, and then I click I clicked back on the timeline. <laughs> That's the thing. Mo has been suspended. <laughs> you can check your email for an appeal. <laughs> I say, damn. No boy still ain't email me back, too. That but it's all crazy. good. It's all good. I just, I'm not going to say my new Twitter handle on, on the timeline. Nah, 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 nah. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> that shit on the right. We're going to keep you safe, dog. We're going to try to do our best to keep you safe, man. Man, I thought, this, I thought that somebody was damn catfishing me, bro. Because that shit came like. Three days apart, bro. Like Mo two. Nah, that and, was me. That was me. Yeah, that I know it was me. you. I know. It eventually, it was you. I was like, but when I the first shit came through my watch, I'm like, bro, this nigga just made a new page. How is this a third page? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, sure enough, this nigga had to make another one. Bro, it, it was like I, I made I made one page. I would be good for like I'll be good for like two hours. Click, it's over with. 
Like, I'd be like, damn, like, this, it was funny to me, though. That shit was funny to me. And there's still niggas who ain't following me back yet. I understand. Like, I don't know who it is, but it's... it's, 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 it's a lot of y'all niggas know it's me, though. I'm going to say this. A lot of y'all niggas... What, like in Hollywood, innit? Niggas like in Hollywood. <laughs> y'all got pages and shit now. Y'all don't want to follow back, but it's cool. I'm going to give you 48 hours. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, but that shit was man. funny, though, man. Them boys, them boys was not playing with me, bro. Like, I, I shot the remedy, though. It's all good. That's good. My dog, them having to switch the numbers, all kind of shit. Email. Yeah. So my dog, my dog got a, my dog got a deck full of email addresses. <laughs> Don't Go. play with him, man. I'm one of them. I'm one of them guys, bro. I got, I keep an email. My dog keep an email. <laughs> that nigga still got hotmail. I definitely got a hotmail account. <laughs> oh, I definitely oh. got hotmail. I still put that bitch in too. I at hotmail.com hotmail, You need one of them I still had a Yahoo account. up until they pulled the plug on Yahoo Mail. <laughs> <laughs> I still had a Yahoo. Because that, that was my email from my, uh, from my MySpace. Mm. Mm. Yeah, man. So let's get into some basketball shit, man. Stan. Yes, sir. What y'all going to do, man? Free to see next week coach. draft? We got, we, got, we got some things working up. Hopefully we can... Get some of these trades done. What you want to happen, man? Talk to me. I don't know. I, I don't even know what's best for us right now. I don't know. I know. I know we need somebody. We need. We need a vocal point guard. Okay. Ka- well, who, Kawhi, who Kawhi might be a leader, but he's right not now. vocal. Who's yeah, Kawhi, that vocal yeah. point guard out there right now? It's Rondo, I guess. But I. I, I heard y'all was interested in signing him. Yeah, you think he'll tra- you think he'll come across the street? I don't know, I don't know. That's not going to happen. I don't think so either. You would bring Chris Paul back? Yes, you would, because he's in a different situation than what we had. Okay, okay. Was Doc Rivers the problem? Yes. <laughs> stand, stand. I, I, you I, know I, feel, this I feel as though Zubac <laughs> should have been playing more. Um, he shouldn't be sitting down in the fourth quarter like that. Um. I don't know, man. Our, our bench was terrible. They didn't want to play anyway, so I don't. I don't know. So you was okay with keeping or Doc going? You was cool with either one. I think the time was up, but I think I, he had ran state, his I course already, for real. I was cool with that, but I think time was up. I think you, he ran had, his course over there, man. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. I always so kind of felt like Doc was, was over. I think he should. I think he should have was gone when um, Blake left. Mm. I think we just needed to start over. Just a fresh start. For yeah, him. fresh start. I got you. So are you? Because the thing about it is, one t- one time at one point, he was the GM and the coach. Yeah, 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 and yeah. That yeah. just was a clusterfuck. Mm. And, <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Doc. Yeah, that Come was on. just too much, man. And yeah. bringing Austin Rivers in there, and then he getting paid, and I know them players ain't to feel like that, feel you know comfortable with that. So. Damn, yeah, look out for his blood. Yeah, look out for his boy. I, I, I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. Would sorry. you be Would you be open to bringing in Westbrook? No. Why? I mean, we got Patrick Beverly. <laughs> Are you, hold on now, hold on now. Nah, hey, nah, hey nah, man, you're not about to do that. You're not about to do that. You're not about to do that. Hey man, Stan, you're not about to do that. Stan, don't do that. Hey, you man. don't even mean that. That's cap. <laughs> what do you What do you think, Russell? West, what, what y'all think Russell going to end up at, man? You see the conversation on the TL, man. Either Charlotte or the Clippers. Okay. That's what I think. Either Charlotte or the Clippers. I wish we can get Fred, Fred Van Vliet. Fred want that bread. Yeah, we ain't got that. Yeah. <laughs> dead already. Fred looking for a payday. We in debt. So you call me Miss Ron. Miss Ron, Mike Jordan might, play, might pay Fred that table. He would. He would probably trade for Westbrook and still bring in uh, Fred. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he might just max it out. And still got a draft. You still got a draft pick. No more saying uh, Westbrook won't be the man again. On the team, he ain't really looking to be on a contender, according to uh, Ramona Shelbourne from ESPN. He's just looking to be the guy again. So, 
you know. So send him to Orlando then. Send him to Orlando. For a trade when he was in the Thunder, right? Yeah. So why who not he just stay his ass there? I have no idea. He won't be the man. I have no idea, man. <laughs> that don't make any sense. At the PG bounce, he was just like. Yeah, like you used you, you searching for help. Now, if you leaving, that don't make any sense. Did he ask for a trade? He asked for a trade when he was with the Thunder? Yeah. After after PG went to the Clippers, and he after they did that sign trade with with Paul George to the Clippers, he was like he spoke to the front office like, "Hey, I'm ready for y'all to move me out of here." And then he got to Houston, shit didn't work out. Now he wants out again. Okay. Yeah, he, he, the only place he can go is Charlotte. I don't even think he can come to. Niggas talking about the Knicks. What that though? What that type of attitude, man? Like, nah, bro. I think he's just too set in his ways now, man. Like. It just is what it is, like with that nigga. It's not, it ain't even a team ball with this dude, man. I don't get the Knicks at all. Like all this potential out here, they're not. That shit is no, stupid. It's stupid. No it makes no sense. Yeah. It, it's dumb. Like <laughs> niggas, niggas could try to that. niggas could try to make a make that shit look good, but it don't make fucking sense. First of all, <laughs> KD and Kyrie already didn't want to go to New York because of the New York mentality. You see know what I'm saying? Like, niggas not trying to go there. So, off rip, that shit is dead. If you can't get yeah. them two to go there and they with the Brooklyn, there's no way nobody else go there. Number two, why would you gut, why would you gut your, your young talent to bring this man in for two, three years? Nobody's going to want to come there and play for him, play with him. Nobody's going to want to go there. Nobody of, like, no substantial, like, name is going to want to go there to win and play with Russell Westbrook just because. It's not going to happen. So for the Knicks to even entertain an idea like they're to the point now where you have no choice but to get it out the mud. <laughs> if you take the hits, if you take the hits while you're trying to groom these niggas, you take the fucking hits. But you have to draft and groom these niggas. That's that's where the Knicks organization is at. They have no choice but to groom their young talent. It doesn't make but sense shit, to when, me to bring this nigga when in. Did the Knicks, the Knicks don't got no commitment to grooming them boys because it came out during the summertime that that the rookies was they 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 was coming out saying. They was practicing and they was running the practice. The no coach, no coach, and no type of higher ups who had nothing to do with their Ooh. practices. They basically, they practices was basically open runs. Yeah, but you like, got the boys wasn't. The boys won't get. The Knicks don't got no commitment to grooming no talent. You they got don't. you got Tibbs now though, and Tibbs gonna run players. So Tibbs, I just saw I saw a report with Tibbs saying he want to make win now moves. So what that tell me? If you're gonna if you're gonna bring in Russell Westbrook now for two three years, what is the real chances of winning? If you just bring in that Russ, you don't you're not winning nothing. You think they, if they bring Russ, they will make it to the playoffs? No, eight seed. No, no, man, I stand by that. No, Russ Russ got a better chance being in the playoffs with the Hornets if he go to Charlotte. Yeah, he got a better chance. Yeah, he got a better chance going over, depending on how much they give up too. Now, if you giving up Tay Rozier, Devontae Graham. Uh, you know, Bridges or or Monk, one of those three. Like the price is gonna be substantial for this man. You see what I'm saying? At the end of the day, he has a superstar label. So my whole thing is is like, if you trade away Frank, Knox, Bobby Portis, future draft, who what's left to make the playoffs? What's left, and who's willing Randall. to come? <laughs> Unless you get Fred Van Vliet, they'll probably have money to get Fred Van Vliet. So now you have Russell Westbrook. Van right, they're going to have to take Russ' big-ass contract on. That's what I'm saying. But they'll still probably have some money to give another max player a contract, which would be Fred Van Vliet because he said he's looking for money. So outside them two, who else is on this roster? That's what I'm talking about. Like Julius th- Randle. And- Julius Randle, okay. Who else? That's it. So then you just gotta fill. You gotta at that point you just filling out the roster. Like we gotta be realistic about the shit, man. Like niggas is on Twitter, like talking about all this. Oh, if they get Montrez and they get Melo, like bro, listen. At the end of the day, it's not gonna be enough. It's not gonna be enough. Not even in the East, that's not enough. No, it's not. I'm just being like we just being real. It don't got shit to do with my team either. I can name eight teams that I make the playoffs with my team in the East. But isn't it crazy how they're trying to put these niggas like him and Harden in the East? Like, why are they fleeing from the damn West? Yeah, I see it. It's crazy. I see it. I think like even with Harden is like he can. They can say all this shit about how he want to stay. At the end of the day, Houston is going to look out for their best interests. Yes, so I mean, you got a new coach. Dan Tony's going. Maury's going. They in rebuild mode. So in, in my in my opinion, his best option is to either go to Miami or go to Brooklyn. 
Now, I got another wild card out there that makes the most sense, but they probably wouldn't do it, and that's Golden State because it's a win-win for both situations. Golden State don't want to hold on to number two pick. Houston, you rebuilding. You get the number two pick, so you can get the get your franchise guy in there. And then on the Warriors' end, you can keep your you know, potential dynasty rolling post-KD. It just makes too much sense. You see what I'm saying? Like, you can off Wiggins or Draymond if you want with the number two pick. Bring him in. You don't got to worry about no money because it's going to fit under the salary cap. Yeah. It just makes the most sense. Do I think it'll happen? No. Then you got the Brooklyn situation, what I think would be perfect. You can do that. Or you can go to Miami. You put him down in Miami with Butler. And you got Spo and Pat Riley down there. Yeah, I think that's a better fit for him. I don't think I don't think the Brooklyn shit would, would work based off I feel like Brooklyn in my opinion I feel like Brooklyn would be giving up too many pieces that that already work with just KD and Kyrie. Yeah. So like the the pieces that I seen that that was that was up in discussion is then Witty, Jared Allen. I saw some people saying they would even have to put up Levert. I saw some people saying it would be like four niggas that that got to get placed up. Mm-hmm. So you telling me you giving up all of these people who who were finding their stride with just nobody come this season, and now they're going to have Katie and Kyrie, and you telling me this shit going to work, you replace all four of these niggas with just one nigga, that's nah, not going to work. Gonna work. I, feel like, I feel like his ideal situation would be Miami for Harden, personally. Like, yeah. if he go to Miami... That's gonna shake some shit up more than him going. I don't even think, but, but but I he, even think I even think Milwaukee would be a perfect situation for other reasons. Because if you if you trying to get Giannis to stay, bullshit aside, all that petty bullshit aside, if you trying to convince him to stay, who else is there for you to get in a trade on the market? There's nobody oh, yeah. else out there. Mm-hmm. So if you want to if you want to convince Giannis to stay, y'all put that petty bullshit to the side. You call up Houston, like yo, I can give you Middleton, Bledsoe, da 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 da. Bring in Harden, man. Giannis. You'll have a better chance of him staying. That's the trade right there. Middleton, Bledsoe, a pick somewhere. Why would you let him walk scot-free down to Miami, potentially? Yeah. Make a play is all I'm saying. Make a play for him. Like, you talk to Giannis, because he just came out of report yesterday say, oh, we'll see. Enough with this we'll see shit. At this point, this nigga's already checked out mentally. If you really want to get this nigga an opportunity to win, bring in Harden. Bring him in. You know how deadly the pick and rolls? You're not going to be able to pack the paint like how you want to, for one. And that's going to be more, it's going to be easy off him. You don't got to, Middleton, we already know Middleton is cool, but he's not, he's not he's dependable not. as far as, you know, hitting those shots consistently. Eric Bledsoe, eh, you gave him bread, but you can offload that when you trade him. I'm just saying, that would be more of attractive to him to want to stay. Yeah. And he got about two, three years left on his contract. So, I mean, run it up. Like, that's what you want to do. And I'm not saying the Buck situation would happen. I'm saying if they want to convince him to stay, mm-hmm. then you can do that. But yeah. with the Nets, um, and um, DeAndre Jordan still there? Yeah, he's still there. Okay. They were even saying you can substitute one of them and throw him in the deal. You see what I'm saying? Like, man, that man can play some long minutes, man. Thing of, that shit is just crazy because we haven't even got Whoa. to see the next team that they have together that they put mm-hmm. together last year. So it doesn't, it doesn't. And then, Anything is possible in twenty twenty. I understand that, but also it's just too many demands for the ball. Kyrie wants the ball. Mm-hmm. Um, KD definitely going to want the ball. And then you're going to throw James Harden in that equation. That yeah, makes that, abs- yeah, yeah, that yeah. doesn't make no, any sense. No. They're not going to coexist. Uh, uh, all three of them. Just it wouldn't happen. I don't know. I think I think I think it, I think it I think could work. Be thinking 2K, like, I think it, I think it could shit. work. I think a lot of people caught up on the point guard aspect with Harden. Like he's played off ball before. You see what I'm saying? It's like when Dan Tony came in, he just made him the primary ball handler. Then you got Steve Nash there. So it's like they all respect Steve Nash. I don't think it'll be a situation where but you're losing all those pieces also. That they- I agree with what you're saying. It depends on what they give up in the trade. Now, I'm not saying the next shit is going to happen. I'm saying his best ideal situations would be Brooklyn or Miami. Now, in Miami, who would Miami be willing to give up in the trade? Dragic, bye. Yeah. Dragic, Duncan. Nah, Duncan got to Kendrick Nunn. Tyler Hero, maybe. Yeah. I would, I would, I would but you talking I about you talking Tyler about Harden now, so the price, the price is going to be hefty. Up, so but we got the money, be- though. We got the money. It would have to be. It would have to be Drogic or Hero and none. Nah, yeah. Hero's not gonna. It would go. have to be. It would they have to be. Hero go for Harden, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Hero's out of here, bro. Yeah. Hero's It'll be Kendrick Nunn. It'll be one of the no, two. I'm saying, I'll put Harden at damn point. 
They want that three point shooting. There you go. Yeah. But bro, you're not you're not gonna tell me but I'm sorry, Drew. But I just know Bam, Bam Butler and Harden would be that shit would scary be as fuck. Yeah. yeah. No, definitely. Off rip. But we still need pieces. I mean, you. I don't say you got to give up Duncan, Tyler, Kendrick. And I'm saying between Tyler and Kendrick, it's one of the two. It's one of them two, bro. Or, I'm, I'm putting Hero in there, too. Because the Rockers going to look at this shit like, well, shit. I need, I yeah, need yeah, something. Yeah, we benefit Young from core, I, I, I feel that. I feel that. I'm, I wouldn't be opposed to that, truthfully. That, that's a sacrifice. I'll because Duncan, Duncan Robinson doesn't play any defense. <laughs> he doesn't. He's yes. freaking catch shoot. Mm-hmm. Definitely. I mean, I'm, and that's fine for me. It works, but on defense, bro, we're gonna it's against the Lakers. Come on, bro. Would you want Westbrook? No. No. I feel like Westbrook will work down in Miami too. I, it's just it's about his attitude. Though. <laughs> that's just it, man. I that's it. Like, that's the like, question. That's the biggest man, thing with Jim, him. Jimmy is streeting that boy out. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it, it's he goes. He too much. He too. He too much of an alpha in himself. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I, I would take Harden. Harden's more humble, I feel. Like, he's going to take them, them crazy ass three point shots. That's fine. Butler's going to live with that shit. Fuck it, shoot it. But Westbrook shooting them crazy ass, reckless ass shit, he's going to airball. It don't even be that, Drew. This motherfucker be flying down the court in crucial moments, <laughs> turning the bitch over. You know what I'm saying? Like, and all you got to do is play smart. It's not like Russell don't got it, he don't play smart at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't have. This isn't making us insane. Like, you can't be doing this shit and then have. You averaging eight plus turnovers, bro. You see what I'm saying? Like, you can't do this shit. You're not going like, win games that way. Yeah, and that's not to say. Russell had some great games last year, but his issue was consistency. Yeah. That's all it is with him. And he's just too set in his ways. Too reckless, boy. Yeah, he's too reckless. You playing like he a my player, dog. <laughs> Straight up. On the blacktop. <laughs> on the blacktop specifically. It's like that one nigga on the blacktop just... Running wild, yeah, <laughs> going crazy on the blacktop, like bro, what the fuck are you doing? And it's like shit that you can't explain. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, but I do feel like both of them will be out of there before draft night. Like that whole situation is just is just gonna implode, blow it up. When is draft that's night? It. Next Wednesday. Damn, we got we got Wednesday and Thursday gonna be lit. Mm-hmm. For sure. I even been seeing some trade packages for Miles Turner, Gordon Hayward, and all kind of shit yep. like that. And Kemba Walker for Drew here. Holiday. And I don't want to take Come a shot here. at Drew Holiday, but when did Drew Holiday become such a hot commodity out here? All because of his defense? His defense. His defense, he can't he can facilitate. Like he, he's, not a bad, he's not a bad selection at a point guard. You got to think now, at one point, he was a top 10 point guard in the league. I wouldn't even say top ten. Like a few years ago, before he left, before he left the game for his family situation, like he was up there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I do feel like he's, he's as far as a point guard go, like he do a little bit of everything. He does, he does it very well. So you be willing to sacrifice Kimba for him? Hell yeah, I give up Kimba for him. Oh hell, Kimba no. not even healthy right now. Hell no, Kimba Walker for Drew Holiday. For our team and how we run it right now, because essentially what we what we needed Kimber to do, he didn't do. So if, if I'm looking at it like how I'm looking at it, and we if we if we can give up, you know, what we if it's not hurting us, I I would take Drew Holiday, even if it's for one year of Kimber. So you don't no, you're no, not willing no. to give him another year. Nah, not one. I mean, it depends, man. I I want to give Kimber one year, but. It's another side of me looking at how you how you went how how he went out in the playoffs, and it's like it's no reason Drogic should have been out playing him, bro. It's no reason. That's just like Rubio and Russ. There's no reason why that should have went down like that. Yeah, that was his first playoff run. Yeah, that was his first playoffs with us. But he, but he has he been in the playoff with uh, Charlotte one yeah, time. Yes. Oh, okay. He has. They got put out by uh, by heat. Miami, I think. Right, Am I heat. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That was when that was when LeBron okay. was looking at Jordan. Oh, they also went to the playoffs a few years after that against the Heat when Dwayne Wade went back down there. Yeah. Oh, okay. And they had like a six game series. Both so times they had to them out. Yeah, they got put out. They got put out by the Heat. But it's like I don't know, man. I, I'm, Kimba, I'm more, Kimba is I'm just more, too up more, there for me to just want to sacrifice him for Drew Holiday. Like, 
personally, I would give Kim another year. But personally, I'm I'm more I'm more looking to move Hay- Hayward, bro. So we can get yeah, long term for to. Hayward. I'm with that. Yeah, yeah been, you gotta I've move been Hayward. That. Yeah. I've been saying that. I'm with that. I feel out. like I feel like in, in having Gordon Hayward. Brad, Brad Stevens, our coach, he took a step back because he tried to appease them a little too much. Yeah, that's his so, homie. So yeah, so if we get rid of him, I feel like that would that would that would put that would put some horse bonnets on Brad. Like, look straight. Like you look, you trying to you trying to appease to this nigga. Like he fucked up our chemistry whenever you bring him on. Whenever you, whenever like he he he, he produced like he can score, but when that that fucked up the chemistry with everybody else. Like he he facilitated the ball like Brad. Gordon Hill was not a bad player. But I just don't feel like he's the fit for us at all. Yeah. They was also talking about Harden possibly going to Philly. And I tell you right now, that shit would not work. Ooh, that's a, ooh. That's a shit show waiting to happen. And Dr. Head Coach? <laughs> Embiid oh, and Harden? God. No, sir. And I think it's more so on Embiid because of the fact that... It just go back to... He, he got the same MO too. his work ethic. Inconsistent at times. It's just like I just don't see that shit working at all. It could work, but I think that shit would be a dumpster fire. Personally, like I don't know. But in terms of like Boston and the whole Kemba Walker thing, like I mean, if you could just offload Gordon Hayward, you bring in Miles Turner or something like that, and yeah, I'm with that. I'm 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 more. Y'all need some rim protection. That's what I'm saying. I'm more interested in the Miles Turner now. I'm just saying, Drew Holiday sounds interesting to me, mm-hmm. but I'm more interested in moving Gordon Hayward. He got to, he got to go. He got to go. I feel like he's holding us back. Mm. Like he messed up our whole team identity. Like when we don't have him, like we balling. When he come back and he get into that minutes rotation, he slow us down. He hold us back from our true potential. Mm. It's evident. It's, it's clear as day. Yeah. Like I said, man, y'all will be straight, man. You got Tatum, Brown. I, you know, I love Tatum. So, you know, as long as you continue to build around him and he becomes better as a leader and shit like that, y'all will be fine. I just wanted to know where the Drew Holiday shit came from, to be honest with you. <laughs> like, yeah, you see, like, like he's I mean, a... I'm not, I, I rock with Drew Holiday, bro. I, I mean, no, he's Holiday. good. He's a great defensive. I mean, we seen a nigga put Dame in solidary confinement for four yeah. straight games. Like... I'm not going every shit on defensively, but if you just want to all, if you just want to bring him in just for strictly defense, and you sacrifice somewhat at the guard position offensively, then so be it. If you feel like you can make it up in other areas, so. yeah, that's why I say it's interesting to me. Now, I, I, like in saying that, you all know Kimba, my man. I'm willing to give Kimba another shot if he come back. I mean, shit, you he, gave him a four year deal. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, we already showed we committed to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna shit on him now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but at the end of the day, like we gotta look out for our best interests. And I yeah, feel, I feel like right now, our best this y'all window. This y'all championship uh-huh. window. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We gotta take advantage of this shit. And I feel like the, our our best shot at winning a ring is getting rid of Gordon Hayward, bro. Yeah, I feel you. We gotta get rid of him, bro. I feel like Danny Ames understand that. And I just feel like you know, hopefully he you know do something. He he amassed that this shit, so I'm 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 waiting on him. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I got faith in Danny Ainge, man. What was that trade you was talking about before we came before we came on the show? Talking about some Paul George, Rudy Gobert. Oh yeah, I saw a picture. It was Rudy Gobert, Paul George, CP3, and Kawhi. <laughs> If that shit happens, y'all y'all want y'all Lakers shit now. <laughs> we, gotta be, we gotta be. That was embarrassing, bro. Yeah, because Rudy, Rudy, Rudy is a big man, dog. So AD in the woods has a problem. We need a rim protector. Yeah, you need a rim protector. We yeah. need a rim protector. We Joker, need a Joker, Joker was giving y'all some work, boy. Joker was giving y'all some work for sure, for I sure. Threw my so so Zubac, 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 or Montrez had no answer for that man. Nah, no, hell no, hell no. Nothing. Rudy Gobert would be very nice with y'all. I ain't gonna lie. He would. Yeah. He will work. He will work with y'all. I will clear that bench off for that team. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> CB3, Rudy, Kawhi, and PG. Clear that bench out. Oh, we'll be open. You gotta get to at least the Western Conference Finals with that, bro. Ain't no excuses. First try, we got to get there. Facts. First so what try. you what do you think happens if y'all don't win the championship this year? You got two more years left with like Kawhi and PG, right? Or is yeah. it a three-year with an opt-in? 
if y'all don't do nothing, let's get PG out of there. At least PG. Oh, yeah, they trading his ass. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah, we would probably trade him. At that. Kawhi ain't going nowhere. No, uh, Kawhi's staying. But oh, crazy thing, shit, he, he damn um, live in San Diego. I mean, ain't like I don't see a situation where the That's Clippers like will part ways with Kawhi Leonard. Paul George is damn. is the one to go. Yeah, but shit, we gotta do something. Something dramatic gotta change. Mm. Ain't no way we can go back with that same team. Cause that same that same team just is is, is but effective but, to beat the Lakers, but not everybody else. But bro, wasn't 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 Kawhi your PG the drastic move? Yeah, but it didn't work out enough. like that. It didn't work out like that. It the media media was calling them, you know, ninety six bulls man. and all that yeah. shit, man. Yeah, you know, the next Scotty and um, Jordan. yeah, Scotty and Jordan. And I'm like, damn, that's nasty. <laughs> I hate when they did that. <laughs> Scotty and Jordan. That's nasty. <laughs> that's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I hate a I mean, PG PG ain't that nice now. Like, come on now. Kawhi, he ain't, he ain't on no Jordan. Like, my was talking about, then he went a ring. He was going to go top five all time and all kind of shit. I'm like, God how? damn. No, how? No. How? Hey, man, it should be like that. You know how rankings go, Mo. Like, rankings be wild crazy during playoffs, at the playoffs, before the season. Like, the Luka Don, like, even with Luka, like, I posted my how top Luka 20. better than Jason oh, Tatum? Before, before going into the season, and people was like, why you got Luka 14? I'm like. Why don't you have him in the teams? Like, <laughs> y'all want to put this man top five already? Off what? That man brags people, about it. That man said in the that. U.S. is so easy to score. <laughs> this man so He's easy a bad boy. Luca's a bad boy. Don't get it fucked up. He's a bad boy. Because yeah, I remember his rookie year, he was getting a little fly. I'm like, no, that, that motherfucker is nice now, but... Let's hold our horses on the top five shit, bro. Like, you moving this man ahead of people who, like, Jason... T- like, y'all always want to... When playoffs roll around... Y'all move motherfuckers up and down like this shit. Tetris, my nigga. Like, yeah, y'all sure. always doing it. So, for him to only have one playoff appearance and you got somebody like Jason Tatum ain't missing out one playoff and has been performing, where you got him at? How he better than Jason Tatum? How? I be asking. I be asking. Niggas just be like, oh, he just better. How? Give me reasons. If I ask you, how is he better? Like, they don't really do nothing that's much better than the other person. Just like T- Tatum's game, I think, is more polished. Point blank, period. It's more polished. He's and like he's been he's been doing this shit longer. Luca Luca still got work to do down there. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like niggas be so quick to move people up and down a totem pole, bro. And that shit is nasty, especially when it comes to rankings. Like motherfucker, give me a top twenty with no Kyrie Irving on it, but you got Cat and Simmons on it. Y'all That's need to nasty. let this shit go. <laughs> That's nasty. You gotta let that That's shit nasty. go, man. You got Porzingis on there. Oh, when, when I saw that, I was like, oh, you just making up names at this point. Yeah, you just add them, motherfuckers, just be adding them, bro. You really didn't really think of shit through. Porzingis, but no Kyrie? What are you talking about, man? <laughs> That's, That's why you can't really even talk, you can't talk lists with people, man, because it be, it be coming to a point where they just naming niggas just for the sake of not naming certain niggas. Yeah. Just, yeah, just to not say their name. Just not to say their name. How what in what realm is 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 is, is Christoph's better than Kyrie? I just, I want to know, dog. You let me know. But yeah, we definitely gonna see next week though. So hopefully my Bulls are getting Lamelo or Denny. I have been hearing some rumors about us trading up. I'm not hearing no Zach Levine for Tim Hardaway Jr. shit. So y'all can miss me with that shit. I've been getting hit. That's with that. disgusting. Like, come on, dog. What I look like? Like, get this shit out of here, man. Zach ain't going nowhere, man. Ooh, that would be disgusting right there. I, I did see some shit like trading number four and Wendell Carter to move up to number one. And I'm cool with that. I heard Lori is untouchable, though, which I like to hear because Lori had a down year, but I, I like his ceiling. I'm not going to give up on him. But nah, Lori, I, Lori, 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 he, he, he the goods, but he just had a, he had a slump season. That coaching was terrible as fuck, bruh. Like, when the whole team yeah. don't fuck with the coach, bro, your team is done because nobody buys in. Mm-hmm. And Boylan is not. I'm good to see the coaching staff fill out. Um, I didn't get a chance to talk about it. We just got Mo Cheeks as an assistant oh, Okay. with Donovan. So, that's a very, very good look. I like how we revamped the front office. We got a black GM. So, I like the moves we making. So, if we, if we can just off Wendell Carter for the one and number four, I'm cool with that. I'm cool, like. 
and I like Wendell, but the three motherfuckers who untouchable is Lori, Levine, and Kobe. Period. No, uh, no, Wend- Wendell, Wendell movable. Man, yeah, Wendell's movable. But them three, we not touching them three, dog. So y'all can miss me with the Levine shit. I like I like Wendell too. He do his thing, but he's movable. Yeah, he is. So we'll see. We'll see how this draft board falls. I think the Warriors hold the key to all this because I really don't think they want number two. So we'll see. We'll see. You think they're gonna come back, you know, strong? Warriors? Medium. Medium. I ain't gonna say hard. I say medium. It depends. And trade trades tomorrow, right? Trade deadline starts tomorrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I mean, once the clock take, once the clock take, like like Mike say, I really do feel like the like the Warriors hold the key to what the rest of the league do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Timberwolves. Because we gotta think they the wild card out of the whole league. We wait to see what they do. Yeah, because they ain't, they got their snipers coming back, you know. So ain't like they ain't gonna be right there in the playoffs. Are they gonna be the? You know, the ones that fear, I wouldn't say that, no, but I mean it'd be interested to see if they take that number two pick and move it for another star, man. You just never know. You never and know. And you still got the Lakers the Lakers can make moves. Like it's it's just a lot that yeah. can go on. I like. heard about them possibly moving Kuzma for DeMar. Here's my thing with DeMar and the Kuzma thing. Like DeMar and LA can work post Braun, but at the same time too, you gotta factor in his age too. Like he's thirty one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like Post Braun, Braun got about two more years. He'll be what 33, 34 at that time. So with AD, who's still gonna be in his twenties, it's kind of like, yeah. eh. But it, I like Kuzma's upside. But it's like, is he gonna hit it? So that's where the balance coming at. Now, if you just want to yeah, go ahead, it's a what if. It's a what if. It's Kuzma. a what if situation with Kuzma. But I like Kuzma more than Demar. That's just. I mean, we just gonna be we, like he's in that mid tier group. Like you, see what I'm saying with I'm the Paul Georges. I'm gonna keep it a buck. This wouldn't even be a conversation of the, of the Lakers kept Brandon Ingram. Yeah, you're right. This wouldn't even be a conversation, bro. Yeah, the they, had know they, get, they had to go and get AD, so they had to do. Yeah. What they had to do. Which I ain't mad at, but you know, I was always pro Ingram. I was pro all them I niggas. I was pro Ingram ball and. Cools all them niggas, but you know they did what they had to do to go get their ring, and they got it. So, it worked. It worked. But if you want to bring in Demar Derozan to off Kuzma and Danny Green, it's kind of like okay, you do that. Yeah, but you got to you got to live with the other side of the sword too, though. Yeah, you do. So, it is what it is. <clears throat> we'll see. We'll definitely see for sure, man. We'll definitely see for sure. You don't get at any NFL shit. Before we get up out of here, y'all got the Ravens uh-huh. tonight, man. Yeah, they got Ravens at eight o'clock. We got the prime time game. Um, it depends, man. We still don't got Stephon back. You know, we we was getting torched last week. That's that's the only reason why I feel like the Jets was even putting up them points. We ain't had we didn't have that presence back there, mm-hmm. and that that one dude that we had replacing Stephon was getting torched the whole night. Like he was getting he was food. Like they Flacco knew that. CJ Jackson. You know what I'm saying? So, so it's like you know what? I still not have a step on. I honestly feel like he he low key kind of like freezing us out. You don't want to play. Mm-hmm. In my opinion, that's a theory of mine. Yeah. Now, if he come back and play, I'm more than I, I like. Y'all know I rock with Stephon. Like I need I I I be tweeting this man like, please don't leave us, bro. Like we need Stephon Gilmore, <laughs> yeah. bro. Like so it's like you know. We need him, you know what I'm saying, um, on the defensive side. Now, as far as, you know, that that defense lineup right now going against Lamar Jackson and them boys tonight, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Who, I don't know if we can hold that shit, bro. You think it'd be I'm a flashback to last season on Sunday Night Football? <laughs> what you say? You think it might be a flashback to last year on Sunday Night Football? <laughs> <laughs> man, listen. Man. That shit was crazy. And that seemed like like six months ago, bro. That was like last year, September. Yeah. It was just like, I don't know, man. Like, I really don't know. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I want to be realistic. I want to, the fan of me wants to win every week, but you got to be realistic with this shit. We three and five right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, we lost, we, the, the couple weeks that we lost Cam to COVID, those were games that we should have won. Mm-hmm. So it's like, we can't go off like what ifs at this point. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, you know, I feel you. it is what it is, man. Like yeah. we might fuck around and, and finish the season under five hundred, and you know, once again, Cam gonna be the scapegoat for this shit. And I, I don't like that shit, bro. Like at all. 
Cam Cam definitely showed up last week though against the Jets. He brought the boys back. It, it, yeah, he did. He did. But he I'm saying like, back. if we fuck around and don't turn this shit around, and we, you know, say say we go say we go seven and nine or some shit like that, Cam chill. will be to blame. Chill, chill. It's all chill fault. <laughs> it's all chill fault. And it's just—it's it's so ironic that this nigga's a, a Ravens fan. You see it. Like, you see it. He's a you Ravens fan mid season, and we play these niggas tonight. So now he's gonna be on the timeline talking slick. And it's like, bro, you was a—you was a Patriots fan. We won. Exactly. 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 You see it, right? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Nigga's hilarious, it's, man. That's a funny nasty, nigga, dog. It's nasty works, man. It's nasty. It's nasty works, man. It's nasty works out here, man. Now all of a sudden, he can't trash. No, that man ain't trash. That man ain't trash. That man ain't trash. Dude, this thing on the top, I say he can't trash. Now I'm trash, bro. But y'all, but you know, we, we ain't going to the man, the, the man caught COVID at the beginning of the season. Y'all forget about that. We yeah. lost him for two weeks. Uh-huh. Those two weeks, we those were games that were supposed to be won. Telling you more that Boston type hate is different though. Like outside you, that's what I'm saying. Like outside you, that shit different. Like so, them fans might try to force that nigga out of here. That's how sad that shit is. I just don't. I just don't like. I just don't like what it's setting up to be. Because if we don't, if we don't do what we're supposed to do, or even if we don't finish 500, uh-huh. it's what we can't fault. Yeah. And it's not can't fault at all. Nah, he's had some bad. How did you feel about that Buffalo fumble? Uh. My uncle was in tears. It was, bro. It, was, was a, it, was a, it was a bad. It was a. It was a bad play. It was a bad play. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say get rid of Cam based off that play. Like that was a nah. bad play. It happens. It happens. Yeah. Like that type of shit happens, man. Like you know what I'm saying. Like he took full. He took full accountability for it. It is what it is. Yeah. Move on to next week. You know what I'm saying. Like I'm I, just saying, just, bro. Like it wasn't until this nigga hopped on y'all bandwagon that shit. No, no, for real, and that's why I say him being a Nets fan, the Nets better pray. They better, they better put the oil of Jesus over Katie and oh Kyrie. God. Oh man, you gotta get the beads out for them niggas. Worry, bro. <laughs> I was like, I'm look, I'm looking at my nigga chill, my chill, nigga chill bio. I'm like, this can't be real, bro. We go hard. That's a, we we go hard. <laughs> Ravens the, the flock. Ravens flock. <laughs> Then the uh, the the uh, the wildcat count country like I'm like man get the get out of here bro it's jokey man jokey dog I tell y'all this shit dog like did that what I had to deal with last year with the Panthers bro like then you want shit on Teddy Bridgewater but Teddy doing his thing so it's how like you have, how you got three teams in two seasons bro two exactly three in two seasons Drew I see y'all on the top of the AFC South man that's a good look yes sir that was the must needed win Thursday. Yeah, y'all had a stretch where y'all had like a block punt, yeah, then a TD, then another special teams play. It was just like, the boy, whoa, the boy whoa. dumb it now. The boy dumb it now. Y'all getting y'all back. Y'all was down too. We needed that. The boy dumb it now. Yeah, that Ravens, that Ravens game last Sunday was ugly. Yeah, that was crazy. Hey, Philip Rivers, hey, quiet, quiet as kept, quiet as kept. They laid the blueprint on how to neutralize Derrick Henry too. One hundred percent. Quiet as kept. Quiet as kept, man. Them boys, them boys was, them boys was hitting Derrick Henry Thursday night, dog. And see, that's why we went, and, we went ahead and and did what we needed to do to get that defensive. And that was a four line, that was a four defensive line, uh, set. So it's like to to take to think about. It. Yeah, he put up what, 106 yards with he no gonna touchdown. Get that. He gonna get that. No he gonna touchdown. Get that. Yeah, that's that's just it. You know that's just gonna happen. Yeah. But just not being scared to tackle the man. That's just yeah. That's, that's that's what that's what I'm saying. But you gotta. Nigga. He's just a nigga. You gotta be physical with him. You gotta be physical with him. 100%. They got, they had the assets to be physical with him the whole night, and he did. Yeah, man, that's a good look. We got the Bucks today, so I'm looking. How to, you feel about that? How you feel man, about that? I'm looking to get in that ass. Pause. <laughs> Facts. Like, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know how they because I got, I got NFL live on here right now. You know, you know how they trying to, um, they trying to frame this one. They trying to say. Brady agitated is about to be yeah it's about to be, yeah it's about yeah. to be uh, they, they trying to say they trying to say y'all the sacrificial lamb yeah and I'm like man hold up man like bro we almost beat them in week two bro like the shit exactly ain't. like how 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 this is what I be talking about bro like it's like y'all be these analysts forget their own takes and they they be like bro like y'all y'all watch the game just like us Mola all this last week. Like, this, 
Oh, oh. This be my thing with Skip Bayless, bro. Yeah. It's like, bro, like you watch the same games that we watch, mm-hmm. and you get on TV and you just try to go against it just for the sake of you having a grudge or something against a certain player. That's irresponsible. That be my thing, bro. No, I feel you. No, you're right. Skip, but you know who Skip? Skip, you know who Skip guy is in the NFL though to get on though, right? Who? Aaron Rodgers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you know he gonna elevate. He gonna elevate Brady even in some losses. You see what I'm saying? Like that's what he gonna do. But you can't do that though. Yeah, you, you gotta call a spade a spade when they play bad, you man. The boy lost thirty eight. The boy lost thirty eight to three, dog. Exactly. And it's not like Brady wasn't trying. That nigga nah. was trying. Yeah, he was, and he's having a good year. That's the, and that's another thing. The the system shit is dead. Like oh yeah, that's dead. That's yeah, dead. that that, that brings... it, it, it never was a thing. It never was a thing. To, yeah, it never was. To actually, watch football. Yeah, it never was a thing. But yeah, we got them today. So I expect to beat them. We won't have McCaffrey, but I still expect to beat them without McCaffrey. So, um, man, all four straight losses have all been close. Man, we lost to the Bears on the last drive. We lost to the Saints on the last drive. We lost to the Falcons on the last drive. We lost to the Chiefs by two. So it's like. I love what Matt Rule is doing with our team. I really love what he's doing with our team. I feel like he's a coach that is not dependent on having stars like other coaches are. Right. I feel like he really has a blueprint, and his blueprint is working, and the players are buying in on both sides of the ball. I'm not too big of a fan of Phil Snow on third down defense. This motherfucker be sending three defensive linemen and dropping eight, and we always getting burnt. And I'm like, bro, like, go at these quarterbacks, bro. Stop letting them sit back on third down. Just you gotta apply that pressure. Yeah, you man, apply pressure. some pressure, bro. Don't be scared. I'd rather go out firing than go out like that, like because at yeah, that time you, you just being passive. You got to. You got to. You got on, to. Because on on the, on the offensive side, Matt Rule is not playing it like that. You see what I'm saying? Like on the offensive side, he gonna go. You see what I'm saying? I there's never a time where I can say that was a bad play call. You see what I'm saying? So, I shout out to Matt Rule, man. You got my vote. I'm looking forward to the next few years, man. Um. I still think we could probably make a playoff run. Like our next, we got Bucks coming up. We got Lions. We got Vikings. We got Broncos. We got Redskins. Then we got the Saints again. So that's six wins right there that could put us at nine. You see what I'm saying? So I'm all go. Well, look like uh, the Lakers are about to trade yeah. uh, Danny Green to get uh, Dennis Schroeder. Yeah, I saw that. Niggas getting alerts? Yeah. yeah. I saw, I saw that before we started, before, like, while we was recording. Danny Green was, for Dennis? Yeah. That's gonna, a bad motherfucker. He was getting on my nerves when he was going up against the Rockets. And so they I ain't giving up uh, that number 28 pick with uh, Danny Green. He's a guard that puts pressure on getting to the lane, bro. 1,000%. Yep. Dennis true to get to that that's, fucking that's, rack. That little nigga was getting on my nerves, bro. I'm like, bro, put a body on this man, bro. <laughs> so where's so I really going? feel like if they, if they go get Dennis Schroeder, then Rondo might be gone. Yeah, he'll go because Rondo's going to want to get money now. He done got his ring. Yeah, he done got he done got his, his second ring. It's about to it's about to get paid now. Yeah, and you done you done showed it to a vital asset. So Danny Green, OKC for Dennis, huh? Yeah, that's a good that's a good look. That's a good look. For Braun me. gonna get Dennis Schroeder right too. That defense is going to be where it's at, though. Yeah, for real. For real. Dennis Schroeder is nice, man. He's sickening, but he's nice. He's a gnat. <laughs> he's a pest. Yeah, he's he a is a pest. Gnat. He's a pest. He's a gnat for real. But it's a gnat, Ron. Yeah, fool. man. <laughs> <laughs> we got anything else before we get up out of here, man, or that's it? I'm good, man. Y'all good? Yeah, man. Shout out to all the listeners, man. You man. good, man? I see, I see you. I see you still. You still, you still killing the directing game around, around the oh, way, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. You know that, man. Always. All day. All day. I see you, uh, what you got, uh, John Jr. dropping. You got who else? Who else videos coming, man? I got a ton. I got a ton of unfinished shit. I got a damn finished shooting, but there's a whole lot more, man. Hey, That's did good. you shoot? Was that Jew that shot, uh, that did, uh, blocking, uh, Babyface Ray when he was down here? No, no, I ain't did that one. No, that but wasn't Jew. But me and Block right. got something going in the works right now, so. Okay, yeah. shout out to Block. Yeah, shout out yeah. to him. You gonna get that song Hollywood one day, man, for sure. I hope so, man. For sure, man. I hope so. Where, man? Uh, so you, you killing that you shit know, for real? Thank you. My dog, my dog, my dog, my dog. God's favorite director out here, God's man. God's favorite. God's favorite. Go God's ahead and ask favorite, him. Man. <laughs> Put your praying hands and ask him. He'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my real shit though, because I remember, was, I remember when you started playing around with that shit around like twenty eleven and twelve. 
And you always that said was that trash. was like your thing, but you really have gotten better like with every single video, dog. It's like niggas ain't really fucking with you out here, dog. You just gotta get that one artist to be like, yo, let me get him. And yeah. then boom, you out of here, dog. Yeah, man. For yeah, sure. man. I got to. That's good to see. I love. I love seeing that. And man, you falling so. in at a perfect time too, like. Yeah, man. Because hip hop is the one. Is, yeah, yeah videos hip hop is, is the number one streaming. genre, man. Yeah, Getting our country and all that shit. So. Yeah. Videos, videos is definitely bigger now with like with the technology and Instagram yeah. and all this shit. It's like much easier. And, yeah. yeah. You'll get there, man. Yeah. You'll have your time. God got you. Yeah, man. So you know, like we do every week, man. Like like we do every week, if you hear anything on this show that gets you in your feelings, have you feeling some type of way, always remember. We're just some messages. We out. Yo. Yeah.